gotta keep them separated. Oh yeah. Hot tag. Yes, sir. The hot tag. You know it's hot tag. Yeah. What is going on, my main man Shaheen? Not much, man. Not much. What's uh, what's going on with you on the other side? Not much, man. Let me go ahead and turn this down. We have come in. We have started. It is Tuesday. We are rolling. Uh, there's not much going on with me, man. Just uh, usual stuff. Not much going on with you? Not at all. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. Well, uh, ladies and gentlemen, it is Tuesday. You have tuned into the Hot Tag Podcast. You can check us out at thtpodcast.com. Go ahead on Facebook. Join the conversation. Facebook.com slash groups slash thtpodcast iTunes and Stitcher, please leave a review. THT Wrestling Podcast. Make sure you put in the Wrestling Podcast, because if you just put THT, it's not going to pop up. THT Wrestling Podcast. So check it out. And uh, YouTube as well. Twitter, everything. You think of it, we're on there. Just get the plugs out of the way. There you go. I think you just did. I did, certainly. Um, Yeah, man. Last night, dude. What the fuck? I don't know, man. I don't know what happened last night. Um, I think... uh... (sighs) Mr. Rollins might 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 want to be pretty happy he was on the show so much because it pretty much, you know, got him the fact that he wasn't doing this. <laughs> but uh, Yeah. Well, um we all got to see Ladies and gentlemen, we uh we presented a new segment on the show last week and it was <laughs> called uh You're the Dick of the Week. And last week it was Sam Roberts for stealing what's the apps. And this week, Boxman, if you would do the honors, please go ahead and press that button. Seth Rollins, my main man, you, you are the dick of the week. You dick. Yes, we got You're to a see. Dick. We got to see Seth Rollins' uh, money in the bank, if you will. Was it money in the bank? <laughs> we got to. I don't see- know, man. I didn't see the pictures. A lot of people were making fun of him. I don't know. I, I, I uh... certainly didn't see the pictures. Uh, I'm not interested, so. Please don't send it to me. Um, I did click on the pictures and saw what he was, uh, what he had in that, tim- what he was packing in the- with the money in the bank. <laughs> yeah, Boxman clicked on the picture and saw what he was, uh, what he was working with. Yeah, yeah. I mean, hey, man, look, look, we are, uh, we are podcasting. We are spitting facts. <laughs> I d- we're podcast journalists, so we have to we have to click on his dick pictures. I clicked on the dick pic just <laughs> for the fact that we do a podcast oh, for you people. I clicked on that for you people. That is okay. why I clicked on dick. Okay, <laughs> there you go. Boxman is a sacrificial lamb of the THT podcast. I sacrifice, sir. I will not. That's right. I'll sometimes I'll take one for the team. Don't. Don't not the way you're thinking though. So be careful. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Um, yeah, man. This this, <laughs> this was a this was a bizarre one. Uh, apparently, if you live under a rock and you don't know what happened, basically, uh, Seth Rollins he had some uh, pictures of you may know her name. I actually forgot the NXT was name. Do you know her uh, name? Zahara Schreiber. Uh, your guess is. Probably yes. better than mine. Yeah, so. that's it. We'll oh. go with that. It is. It is. I'm anyway. Right. I'm right. All right. There you go. He is right. I'm right. So anyway, on his Twitter account, he uh, he released some nude pictures of her, and everybody thought it was uh, his account getting hacked. Since, you know, in, in, in our society, everybody's account gets hacked. Every, they post some crazy shit, something outrageous that, you know, they didn't mean. They just, uh, you know, they just jump the gun, and they just say that they, they got hacked. But this wasn't the case. His 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 shit wasn't really hacked. I guess it kind of was hacked, but not really. Um, apparently, he was cheating on his on his long time uh, fiance with this girl from NXT, and she had access to his phone. So she released the nudes of this girl to embarrass her, mm-hmm. and she also released some dick pictures of this guy. And I mean, what do you think about this? Before I go ahead and rant on this, because this 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 is this is fucking this is ridiculous. What do I think? I think the chick that he posted the picture of was smoking hot, first of all. She had a... She has a lot of balls. She had a hell of a body on her. Um, actually, I, 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 may, I may or may not be looking at this picture right now. Um, all right, I am. 
the, the girl is hot. Um, I guess this she's guy. she's an NXT diva, so I don't know for how long, but uh, yeah, um, I don't know. Like I said, he was on Raw so much, and you know, obviously, no one's gonna think it's him. I see nothing coming out of this in uh, response to him. I think Rollins is. He apologized today, and I think he's. Uh, I think he's in the clear from there. I think it all depends on the aftermath. If, uh, if WWE is getting a lot of negative exposure from this, um, they may have to punish him a little bit. I don't think he's going to get deep pushed necessarily. A couple losses or you know something like that, a slap on the wrist. I don't think. Um, I mean, they're 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 kind of desperate right now, so they can't really afford to. He pushed this guy and, and put him on main event and when he has the money in the bank. And, um, you know, it really wasn't his fault. It's not like the guy released it himself. Um, and, you know, it's his, it's his personal life. Who are we to judge? We all make mistakes. Um, if you want to call it a mistake, I don't, I don't really know his personal life. I don't know the situation. For all I know, maybe his fiance was cheating on him for years and, and this, you know, he was getting back at her. So I'm not going to pass judgment. I don't know. You don't know. So, uh, yeah. But the one thing that, that gets me is why are you taking dick pictures with your face in it Thank when you. you're a celebrity? I mean, Thank that, you. that that fucking gets me, dude. You're with, I don't get it. You're with a public company who frowns upon, dare I say, frowns upon <laughs> things like that, and you're... I don't care how old this pic. This pic didn't look too old because he had his, you know, scruff and everything. And if you saw him in ROH, he sure as hell didn't have scruff. He was a, you know, clean faced guy. So I don't know, man. I'm sure this is recent. I'm sure this is recent. I don't know why, man. It's just like when all everybody was like, "Oh, the celebrities' pictures were hacked. Why are they taking fucking pictures on their phone?" Now. Why? Don't get me wrong. I've received pictures, and I'm going to be the first to admit I've sent pictures, but we're not famous, so it's 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 a different story. If you're famous, dude, I don't see the fucking point. And if you're going to do it, why not just take a picture of your dick without your face being in it? I mean, you know, I just, I don't know. That, I, I just, I don't get that. Especially when you're getting a huge push like he is, mm-hmm. you can't afford to lose right now, you know? Nope. And um, I don't know, man. A lot of people... A lot of people were, uh, you know, passing judgment and saying, you know, he, he's a scumbag for cheating on his girl again. I don't know the whole story. Like I said, for all we know, maybe she was cheating on him for years. I don't fucking know, dude. You know, I'm not going to be the one to pass judgment, but it is what it is. It happened. You're the dick of the week for having your face in the picture. That's why I gave you the dick of the week. Um, would you agree with that? He's, 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 he's definitely the dick of the week, right? Yeah, but there's one thing I don't want to get too far past. Um, did you say you were sending dick pics? Yes. Oh, okay. I, <laughs> I just didn't want... Well, I, I mean, there's, well, I mean, it's 2015. Dude. I mean, I'm yeah. not saying I, I, I'm doing it now, but I have in the past. I mean, I've, I've personally never sent a dick pic. I mean, I, call me crazy. Uh, I've just never done it. Yeah. Well, when it's, 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 it's a... You know, you got to have a fair trade. Can't just. You know. Sh- okay. I mean, you know, look. Hey. Hey, to, man. To, to each their own. I'm not hey. famous. It doesn't matter. Yeah, he just. I mean, come on, man. I'm I'm, I'm 27. Everybody. Everybody I mean, my age. Probably I mean, I'm not knocking on the guy. I'm not knocking on the guy. But, <laughs> you know, but, uh, you know, it, it, whatever you do, man, it's cool. It's cool. Yeah, hopefully I won't get famous, you know? Hey, man. Well, if... Maybe hopefully I will get famous. Who gives a shit? I don't know. Fuck it. Who Doesn't cares? Matter. Fuck it. Sheen and But him. honestly, at the same time, I kind of respect the guy because he has that, that fucking factor to him. Because if you're famous and you're taking dick pics with your face in it, that just, you know, that just reads, I don't give a shit at all, you know? that I kind of like that. The guy just doesn't give a fuck. At the same time, but it's so stupid. So I kind of frown upon it, but it, 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 it's kind of funny and respectable at the same time in a way. Oh, if you could get in the chat room right now. <laughs> hashtag oh, pugs. I got... ha- hashtag pugs. Hashtag puggles. Hashtag dick pic. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I guess one there of our tags go. this week has to be dick pics. <laughs> oh, man. 
Yeah, we come up with a hashtag every week. Hopefully this week, you know, it, it won't be dick pics. I don't really, I don't think that should be the hashtag coming out of the show. But, yeah, uh, yeah, I, no. I don't know. Uh, wow. Yeah, interesting. All right, yeah, I just wanted to, uh, <clears throat> you kind of strolled by that like it was no big deal, and I was like, wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> just I mean, I've, I've, man, I've, I have home videos. I have it all, man. Just, come on, dude. It's 2015. You got videos? Of course I do. Shaheen's his own little porn star. Shaheen, do you have a website we don't know about? I don't. I've never, uh, I've never published them. Damn. I do have them in my, uh, for my own collection, though. Nice. Is there, like, music in the background? Like, bam, chicka, bam, 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 bam. Nah, just, just, just cell phone. Yeah. You see Shaheen back there, just... <laughs> oh, Jesus. All right, I'm sorry. That is that is not the music <laughs> to stroke anything to, man. <laughs> Fucking Benny Hill in the background. <laughs> oh man, you're stroking grandma. Oh, I'm telling you, man. Jeez. Next time, play that shit. <laughs> yeah. You'll thank me yeah, later. Man. There you go. You'll thank me later. <laughs> I may, I may not. I gotta tell you, I used to have that 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 uh, song "Yakety Sax" a Benny Hill Benny Hill song as my phone, um, my ringtone. It didn't oh, matter. Man, where... I bet the people around you hated you. No, it didn't matter where I was. Everyone started laughing when it came on. <laughs> man, I, I bet you the in... people that lived with you that that heard it several times a day hated you though. Oh well, I'd be in Walmart yeah. and people around me would just start cracking up. I I haven't gone to Walmart in probably like two years. No. Oh. Walmart creeps me to fuck out, dude. That place is like that place is a death trap. It 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 can get a little scary. You just gotta you gotta know when to go. It's like a hay ride. Morning is a good time. Like, you know, before they all, you know, wake up out of their out of their, you know, natural <laughs> out of their natural ice cool. haze. Before the fucking gremlins and the, the ghouls wake up in the morning and go to Walmart. Got to catch them before then. It's before the Walmartians come out, you know. There you go. Next thing you know, you got Walmartians. Yeah. Oh, no, we're going to need a bigger boat. Oh. By the way, I, I, I love that website. Um, What is it? Peopleofwalmart.com? Oh, yeah. I've been there. The, the, and, I fucking and, love that. I love that site. And Walmartians. You got to go to Walmartians, too. Oh, that's a thing? That's a site. Walmartians. Absolutely. Oh, shit. Got to check it out. Absolutely. There you go. Well, I'll be uh, looking forward to your videos on uh, future porn sites, I guess. Um, uh, I guess I guess. Uh, when and if I ever get famous, I'll be on X videos or Pornhub or something. Be, you, you'll be breeding me. It's funny. It's it's so weird because actually I lost my virginity on camera as, as weird as that may sound. Whoa! Isn't that, isn't that fucking wild? I was 16. I I I may still have the video. I don't know. I don't think I have it anymore because back then it wasn't digital, so I actually had it on a on like a VHS. You know those VHSs where you where you pop in the the camera tape, mm -hmm. the little tape in there. Yeah, I, I, I have it on I one of those. One. But I don't I don't know if I still have it. Wow. Yeah, I still got one That's of those wild. videos. I still got one of those video recorders. Yeah. 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 Well, that's uh, Good time. interesting. Good time. That's uh, interesting. Um, whew. I'm not sure where to go from there. I'm, uh, <laughs> Don't know where to go from there. <laughs> Probably should just end the show with that, right? But, all right, we'll Man. be back next Tuesday, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Check us out on THGpodcast.com. Yeah. Um, I've got balls of steel. I'm not sure where to go. I'm just gonna. <laughs> well, I, you know, I couldn't watch Lucha Underground because my uh, DVR decided not to record it. But I did watch Raw last night. Um, you did, man. You wanna... I can't... Actually, let's 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 change up the format a little bit. You want right? to go to Raw? Because I'm um... still just imagining you walking into the room. Just hello, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, this fucking guy. Oh, man. Fucking Val Venus. What happened to that guy? 
Oh, he's, uh, we talked about it a few weeks ago. He's opening up some sort of uh, pot lounge in Colorado. Oh, he is. Some sort of vapor. Yes, maybe, 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 yeah, uh, vapor pot lounge. Friends. Hey, man, I, uh, yeah, I'm down with it. By the way, um, you know, Rikishi is, is getting inducted to the Hall of Fame. I'm all for it. Mm -hmm. I see a lot of backlash, which I don't really understand why. No. How do you feel about it? Because I feel like the guy deserves it. I mean, this, he's been around like 20 years. Dude, come on. It's the WWE Hall of Fame. Look who's in it before you start making cracks about it. That's all you got to do. There, I mean, right. Trust me. Coco Beware is in there. Fucking. Yeah. Who else is in there? Drew. Drew. Uh, that, what's that guy's name? Uh, Carey. Drew Carey. Drew Carey, yeah. Supposedly they're putting Arnold in this year. I mean, they are putting in Arnold this year. I mean, you know, it's... it's. You, I'm fine with Arnold. Arnold is fine. And again, I heard less bitching about Arnold than I did about Rikishi. Rikishi definitely has some cred. I mean, the guy was a pretty agile big man. The guy used to do backflips when he got clotheslined and shit. You know, number yeah. one. Well, number dude, two, he, he was, was... Honestly, Samoan SWAT team is hands down one of my favorite tag teams. Like, definitely oh, yeah. top ten. And, I mean, the guy's got a ton and, of lineage um, in the business, plain and simple. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's yeah. got a couple belts under his, under his you know, wing. He, I think he got the IC belt one time. He had the tag belt. You know, it is what it is. He was around for a while, though. He, he did the Sultan gimmick. He did the, um, that little rapper gimmick that he did for a while, like mm -hmm. in 95. I forgot what it was. Mm -hmm. The positive Fatu or something. Make it change Fatu. Something like that. Yeah. Do you know what I'm talking about? I I think I started watching like right as he was going out and coming back. I don't remember. Yeah, and then he did uh Rakishi, he did the whole too cool thing. Um I mean, that was he was best tagging run. with the barbarian, he did the shrinkers, the head shrinkers. He, he did a lot of stuff, man. Plus he birthed the Usos for the you know, people that like the Usos. There you go. There you go. Up oh, they're 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 calling well, he, me. he didn't he didn't he didn't he didn't birth them. He he donated the sperm, I guess. Oh, they're calling you oh, Val. Thank you, Rikishi. They're calling you Val Shahinas in the chat room. <laughs> all right, oh, sorry. Man. Uh, all right, we we need to just get away from that. Um, yeah, I I got zero problem with Rikishi going in. Seriously, nothing, no problem. Yeah, yeah, I'm absolutely fine with it. And um. Spoiler alert, if you, if you don't want to know who's the next person that's going to be inducted in the Hall of Fame, I'll give you a couple seconds to put it on mute. One, two, three. Too bad if you didn't put it on mute yet. Uh, Larry Zabisco, what do you think? Yeah, I read this today. That's, um, again, no problems. Fucking Larry Z, come on. Definitely. Yeah. I'm surprised he's not um, in I yet. Think, yeah, same. I think, I, I'm, I'm mm. guessing Bruno's probably going to induct him, right? You would think. Mm hmm Yeah. I mean, I'm not, you know, I'm not from the 70s, but I've watched the matches in the feud that they had from the 70s. I mean, I guess it was really big for that time, so it makes sense. Plus, okay. they, they really didn't utilize uh, Bruno since they got him back. Yeah. So it makes I mean, sense to get him back on tape and, put, you know, get him back in the hall. You know, Bruno was like 81, 82 probably. Yeah, they He's up there. Use him while you can. I mean, not to sound like a dick, but yeah. You yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah. And maybe they you. are. For all I know, maybe they're getting footage now. We just haven't seen much. True. They could be. I mean, they could be using him, you know, every day for all we know for the network, which is fine. Probably but, not, though. He's probably just hanging out in Pittsburgh. Probably. So, I don't know. I mean, yeah, it, just like everyone's saying in the chat room, it's a fake Hall of Fame for a fake sport. What, why, what, what, really, what, come on, ridiculous. Yeah. You know, you know what else I found funny? Um, Triple H on, on Austin's podcast, he, made, he, he mentioned China. Mm -hmm. and he said how uh, eight-year-olds, if, if they type in China, they would be finding naked pictures of her. How ironic is it now that their top heel, his, his boy, if you type in his name right now, his dick is going to be the first thing you see. Dude, there's nude pictures of Lana out there. There's nude pictures yeah, of yeah, Randy exactly. Orton out there. I think there's a nude of, like, half the people. There's a fucking porno with Hulk Hogan in it. 
That is true. True. I That's mean, a very the, good the point. Because fucking... a lot of people may may argue the fact that it's not penetration with those people. But hey, Hogan, he was getting a blowjob on tape. Yeah, That's, he took a that... call from his son. God damn it. Jeez. At least, I mean, I've never seen it, but I heard he was at least, you know, nice enough to stop and take the phone call. You never saw that either? Jesus, Sheen, what's wrong with you? Oh, my God. Are you a wrestling fan Jesus. or what, man? It's like one of those RF video exclusives where they say, they're all, uh, we're going to edit this out. <laughs> we're going to edit it out. We'll edit that out. We'll I don't worry. We're going to edit this out. Don't worry about it. Yeah, we're, You can take the call. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. We'll edit Jesus. it out. No, no problem. Fucking. Fucking. <laughs> Video gets released. The whole thing is in there. Jeez, fucking Bubba the Love Sponge back there jacking off to Hogan's cock. <laughs> that is a true shoot interview, though. You know, <laughs> that is at its purest form, as, as raw as you can get. That's some raw footage. Jesus. Meanwhile, I just seen that Abdul the Butcher video that they did, and they did it in like '98. Um, Abdul the Butcher art video shoot. Shit is like five hours long. <laughs> Just no no editing at all. Just five hours of just this guy on camera. Jesus. Oh, it's like in that what? Nash, what, what is it, Nash, X-Pac, and uh, Hall. They're like getting pizza. Oh, we'll edit that out. No, I can see you're getting the fucking pizza. <laughs> I haven't seen that one. That's I've only watched like two RF videos my whole, like, that's it. Usually I watch the, you know, the, the uh, U-shoots because I just like them. Be I like them. And, uh, yeah, it's just, no. no. Yeah, well, back, back in the day, you know, Feinstein was pretty much the only guy doing it that yeah. I had access to anyway. Because, you know, he's, he's based out of Philly, so he used, to, he used to actually have a store that used to be in uh, Franklin Mills Mall, you know, for all the people from that area that might, might know what I'm talking about. But he used to have a stand in uh, Franklin Mills Mall. And, uh, you know, as a kid, I used to go up there and just buy directly from him. It was, it was easier, but, you know, nowadays, you know, yeah, K-Fape commentaries is out there, High Spots, um, Ring of Honor did a series for a while, they mm -hmm. stopped, yeah. Just let K-Fape commentaries do it, just let them take it all over. They don't do enough, though, they, they have a release every, like, I don't know, yeah. every, like, five months, four months. Yeah, but they're all good, I, I gotta, I gotta get some more, I'm, I'm, all mine are pretty old right about now, I think. I mean, I've got like one or two from last year, but that's it. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I haven't, I haven't seen much of their stuff at all. I saw a couple of uh, year shoots. I got the there's Shane a bunch Douglas of them. One. I put a bunch of them on there. Yeah, yeah, I'll check them out. Let's see, what did I put on there? I put, let's see, where is it? Where is it? Google Drive, Google Drive. Uh, I saw it already. Yeah, Honky Tonk Man, Dixie Carter. That one's all right. Uh, Jamie Dundee. Dude, I'm gonna tell you right now, the Jamie Dundee one. You better have a lot of weed, cause he that one's really tough to get through. <laughs> Jesus. It. Yeah, I, I, I've asked. I, I, trust me, it's if tough. I need to fucking. If I need. To, if I need to be like fucked up to watch it, man. Jesus, that's. that's you're bad. you're you're gonna want to be because it it, it why, was tough. Why would you? Why would you send me all this shit? And <laughs> then Dixie Carter is like torture. You're telling Actually, me Jamie Jamie Dundee is fucking torture. Uh, the Dixie what Carter one is funny. So is the Vince. The Vince Russo one's pretty good. Uh, the Iron Sheik one you gotta watch. The Sean Baldwin one you gotta watch. I actually, I have a, I got a signed copy uh, of the Iron Sheik, Honky Tonk Man, and, and New Jack. Uh, the New Jack uh, one is on here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah New Jack it's, it's all three of them, and that one is is fucking crazy. Nice. <laughs> it's the only thing I can say about it. It's, there you go. It's reckless. Hey, you got Kevin Nash, you got a new Jack, Perry Saturn, that's a good one, too. Yeah, i never seen him. Well, I only put a few up there. I got more, but uh, that was, that's that's a good start for you right there. Yeah, well, maybe, maybe we should stop talking about this. <laughs> on air. What? <laughs> Why? Google Drive is legal. Yeah. It is. I, I it's on I Google. Really anyway. It's on Google. Do we have anything on, on what? It's on Google. We're using Google for the show. We're we're just promoting Google, what? man. What? We're just exactly. Um. So what? you want to get? In, I can tell you want to get in the raw. You want to get in the raw. What? Raw. What? Raw. Raw. Roman Reigns. <laughs> no, I'm just fucking with you. Uh, Listen, man. I, I guess I, let's get into raw, man. I'm gonna man, breach. Let's get into raw. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna breathe your ass, all right? 
that she, she could break my ass. I'm gonna break. That your was ass. amazing. I feel so fucking bad for him, though, man. I feel, I honestly, I feel bad for the guy. <laughs> the only thing I, I get... do, because you know, the only reason he's he's botching all this stuff is because he's he's nervous because he knows the fucking you know everybody's judging him now because you know everybody is talking about his promos. So you know he's having a he's having an anxiety attack every time he's doing a promo now. So yeah, don't you feel that way? He looks like he's shaky. Uh, I don't know, but I found a great clip for him. Henry, you know you're a fucking mumbling, stuttering little fuck. You know that? <laughs> mumbling, stuttering little fuck. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Joe Pesci from Goodfellas. I don't know, man. I honestly, I thought he was getting better though, except for that for that stutter botch. He's just got. Uh, it's it's like that. Like we were saying, I mean, I don't know. And it, it wasn't a bad promo. He was actually not doing bad. I actually, I've got the promo. It wasn't bad. I mean, I guess. Just, he had that botch. I, I gotta admit, I, I, yeah. I guess I did sort of feel bad for him for a minute. Like, oh man, he, poor guy, I can't even fucking get it right. I Honestly, he held his own, though. I mean, you know, a lot of people would, would stutter even more and get, and, and you know, as you get kind of caught the chain reaction, next thing you know, the guy is just shitting himself in the ring. <laughs> but uh, he, I think I think he held his own. He's you know he's fine. It was fine. It yeah, was just stop bad. giving him the just stop giving him the, the the you know Bugs Bunny gimmicks and all that bullshit to say. And he's fine. Just let the guy talk. Let the guy speak for himself. Give him bullet points, and and you don't have to, you know, the the second step of cash and all that. Ah, oh, come on, dude. You know, not everybody's seven years old that's watching this shit. Yeah, their own research proves that, but they still cater to whatever. Um, I don't know. I don't know. They're catering to the to the soccer moms that are against WWE. Oh yeah, I mean obviously they're catering to the soccer moms. I mean when um, when Daniel Bryan came out and said he had the you know they were about equal in looks, you actually saw Roman Reigns blush. Yeah, yeah, he, uh, yeah. Wonder how that many, was awkward. Wonder how many women that had was to go, very awkward. Wonder how many women had to go change their panties. Probably a lot. I don't know, man. Yeah, a I'm, lot I'm, of dudes are fucking into this guy. I mean, honestly, I didn't know this many wrestling fans were uh, like halfway so homosexual. Or they were like, yeah. Themselves. I mean, I, think, I haven't seen this many people, you know, get pop owners for uh, Roman Reigns. In, in, a, in a while, and last night, certainly on, on Twitter and everything, I, you see a bunch of dudes looking for the Seth Rollins pictures. I'm like, well, I don't understand why. I mean, unless unless you're into that sort of thing, and that's absolutely fine. I'm not judging. But, you know, if you're not into that, I don't really see the purpose on, you know, searching the, the guy's penis pictures. Look, man, I told you it was because I, I was doing it for us, okay? I was doing it for the show. No, Leave right. me alone. <laughs> All right. Well, you have an excuse. What about the other, I don't know, thousands of people that were searching for uh, the uncensored version of, of Seth Rollins' penis? Oh, they're just weird. I mean, I had a, I had a complete excuse. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm. All right, you man. Know. You, you, <laughs> I, th I think you're, you're burying yourself even more now. I just, I just. You fucking, I know. you dug your own grave now. I know. I, I actually dug it just to mess around. No big deal. I've trust me, I've dug it many times and covered it up and dug it over again and covered it up and Oh man. Well, I guess I guess you're used to it now then. Yeah, it's no big deal. Story of my life. Dig no my grave, deal. cover it, dig it, cover it. Oh <laughs> well, shit. I don't know, man. I guess let's get into Raw. Um it started out with Roman Reigns and, and we Daniel did Bryan doing a promo. That's what we were I, talking actually, about. I was into this, man. I thought this was fine. Yeah. Didn't bother me a bit. I mean it was this the pretty much the same promo you you you'd, you'd figure these guys would cut. Um, yeah. Yeah. The only the problem. only thing I have the only problem I have with this is is the fact that Kane and Big Show were incorporated into this angle Ugh. once again. I mean, enough with Big Show and Kane, man. I mean, you, honestly, that reaction that they get, which apparently WWE thinks it's like heel reaction, and I'll, I'm I'm doing air quotes right now. Mm -hmm. Um. That's not heel reaction. That's that, you know, just we don't want to see you anymore reaction. It's not good. Um, I know for a fact that at the Rumble, Big Show and Kane 
being there live, they, they got the worst reaction. And, and you could hear the people talking. It wasn't the kind of reaction that you want. Hmm. It's not the kind of booze you want to get. But uh, somehow that's get, that gets, like, you know, I guess misinterpreted somehow with, with WWE when it comes out. But I, I don't get it, man. I've had enough of Big Show. I've had enough of Kane. Please just put them in the Hall of Fame next year. Um, God bless them. God bless them. There you go, Shaheen. Yeah. Say your goodbyes, please. Say your prayers. <laughs> Say your prayers and eat your vitamins. And get the fuck off my TV. Please. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, I, I I totally agree. I, I think they're getting the same kind of uh, reception. They're not really getting... It's kind of that, all right, we've seen enough of you. And how many matches are they going to book these guys in a night? Two, three, five, nine? I mean, come on. Yeah, and it's it's honestly, it's really, really repetitive. I you're, mean, you're, you're, every you're... week it's, it's, it's Big Show and Kane against pretty much either John Cena or Daniel yeah. Bryan or Roman Reigns. It's it's the same circle just just being rotated. Yeah, and all it's you're doing boring. all you're doing is showing how how like shallow it is right now. In my opinion, yeah, you've got. Absolutely. I mean, you, bring some people. Oh, well, I'm sorry, Sheamus is coming back. I mean, control my excitement, please. Woo! Yeah, Sheamus is coming Woo! back. Fucking party, man! Sheamus is coming back. Holy shit! Woo! <laughs> See how excited I am? I hit the crickets did, did already. You catch that? Woo! Dang it. Woo! Yes! Yes! Uh, yeah, Seamus is coming back. Seamus is coming back. Um, this guy better come back with a with a with a beard or something. Give him something different, man. If I see the same Seamus that I've seen for the last three years. Can't get into it, man. Yeah, they need to, to. I don't know. There's not much you can do with him. I mean, he's the Celtic warrior, and it's about all you can do with him. It's what he looks like. Uh... <laughs> Celtic war. I forgot. He's, he's he's from the bloodline of of a thousand you know Celtic warriors that bled for Ireland. I forgot about that. Yeah, whatever. Um, but I, it's I don't know. I don't know what you can even do with Seamus to get me interested in him coming back, to be honest with you. I got no clue. Can you think of anything? Uh, <laughs> Besides just a beard? <laughs> <laughs> no. I don't know, man. I No, <laughs> I can't think of anything. That's what I Maybe mean. Maybe turn him heel? I don't know. At least turn him heel. Uh, I, I, I do prefer a, a heel Seamus. I will admit that. But, of course, they're going to bring him back I, as a I, baby I, face. <laughs> I prefer no Sheamus. Me too, but you know they're gonna—they're they're not gonna bring him back as a heel. No way. They're not, but he—I—I I believe he's gonna turn heel soon. He has. He's been a face for how long? Oh, uh, I'm—I'm gonna, I'm gonna say three years, and I'm probably wrong. Yeah, I—that's I, another thing I don't get. Guys like Cesaro—he's been a uh, heel since he started. Just give him a fucking face turn. Give him a chance, you know. I just, I don't know. Uh, something. Try um, different things. Nah, they'll just stick with the same old, same old. Yes, sir. That's how it goes. But uh, yeah, basically this uh, this segment turned into a match: Big Show and Kane versus Roman Reigns and Daniel Bryan. Yep. Which honestly was a, was a pretty good match. It wasn't that bad. Um, it was a good match. I enjoyed it. I think Roman Reigns is getting better in the ring, to be mm -hmm. honest with you. Um, I'm not going to jump on the bandwagon and just bury the guy for no reason. Um, I don't like him quite as much as, as Norman Rad does, but uh, he's, he's all right. Um, yeah, the guy's all right, man. This was a good match. I, and the ending was fun with, with Daniel Bryan doing the, doing the knee, and he missed uh, Kane, and he hit Roman Reigns. I thought that added a little bit of edge to the story mm -hmm. and um i don't know i like it yeah i didn't think it was bad at all not bad at all um the only thing that made me mad about this whole thing is that they announced another like i said another match for show kane and seth rollins and everybody it's like how many times do they have yeah. to wrestle tonight <clears throat> but um the match itself was pretty good 
yeah, that's that's when it became too much. Um, when they pretty much just had an encore presentation of the same match with J and J security added to the match and Dick Rollins. Yeah, D- Dick Rollins. <laughs> Should be his uh, new name. Poor Seth Dick Rollins. Rollins. Poor Seth. You dick. Jeez. You dick. Poor Seth Rollins. I feel bad for that guy too, man. But he's he is an idiot. He should know better. Just, just, man, that poor guy. But anyway, we're we were gonna get in the raw. <laughs> we can't go back. Well, to no, that. Well, I mean, we can we can we can we can stick on the dick of the week for for a little bit. Another thing I don't get is is, is a lot of people judging him and saying, um, you know, why is he doing this, that, and the third? And you know, you gotta you gotta put yourself in the guy's position. Imagine being this guy and just being a wrestling fan and you actually become a wrestler and now you have these, you know, I don't like to call them ring rats. It doesn't sound appealing, but that's what they are. Um, yeah, so if there's other women, I mean, it, it is what it is. It happens, you know. I'm not saying, I'm not making an excuse for the guy, but again, you don't know what his relationship was like. You don't know if he was happy. Maybe he was trying to get out of the relationship for the longest time and she just wouldn't leave him alone. You don't know what happened. But, um, yeah, you gotta put yourself in the guy's position and the opportunities presented to the guy sometimes can get the best of you, you know? Everybody has demons and shit. I don't know, man. I mean, it's not like back in the 80s when these guys are going to the local bars and getting in, 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 in fights in alleys and then banging some bras in the alley. You know, it's not like that anymore. So yeah, man most stuff. of the time, the, the, what was that? Man stuff. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, you don't get that anymore. So mostly these guys are reading comic books and occasionally you get some guys like Seth Rollins, where they uh, where they get get a piece of punan out of out of the roster, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yes, I, I I'm again, I wouldn't condone what he did, but we don't know the story, and I don't know. Maybe exactly. this maybe this picture was just a picture someone sent him. Yeah, and again, you know. I don't know. I don't know what situations you've been in, but I know personally, I've I've been in situations like that where you may be with somebody and you kind of lose that thing that you guys have, and maybe it's not mutually lost. Maybe you just lose it and you kind of feel bad about leaving, so you stick around for a while. And maybe that's the case. You just you don't know. You know, you don't know. But then again, you know, a lot of these people that are sitting behind these computers writing all these fucking essays about the guy and saying he should go to hell for cheating on his on his fiance and all that are, are the same people that, that barely, you know, get to see the sun. So There you go. They're basically Celtic warriors. They look like shamans, except probably not the same physique. I don't think so. Yeah. But you get the point. I, I do get the point. I, I see where you're going. There you go. You there see you where go. I'm at it. Following your following your stream, sir. Yes, sir. Well, what do we have? Uh, let's segue back into Raw. What do we have next? Uh, Ryback versus uh, Dick Rollins. <laughs> Ryback and Dick Rollins. Yeah. <laughs> um, was this was this when uh, the picture was already released? I, I, I believe this was already when uh, the I picture think, of that girl was released. I, I don't think, think his yeah. dick pictures were released yet. No, they weren't until uh, right around the New Day match. Uh, if I can, if I remember correctly, is what right around when I clicked Jesus on. Jesus Christ, man! Jesus Christ, dude! Look, man, I was scared. You got a, you got a whole fucking, you you got a, you got you got a whole analysis on this, man. You got a whole fucking calendar timeline <laughs> of when the dick pictures were loaded. When something scars you, Did like you measure that. it? No, <laughs> yes, I used uh, shadowing of the picture. Um, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I used the micrometer <laughs> just so I could get it exact, right. and then I uh, I took a protractor, and um, I was doing math and shit, and uh, yeah, I had it all figured out. I, I, I bet you were doing math and shit. Yeah, man, I'm 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 great at math. I mean, you know, two plus two, four. Try that shit at home, people. Go ahead. There you go. It always works. Yeah, I'm really not good at it math. Never fails. I really suck at math, by the way. Yeah, believe me, I have I have a math class and I hate every bit of math. 
I'm horrible at math, but if you put cards in front of me in a poker game, I can tell you my probability of hitting the card. Don't ask. Yeah, I can't even do that. Fucking. Can't do that. I'm like the rain man of. I'm like a rain man. I can't, can't do easy stuff, but hey, I can calculate odds. Do you think they're going to give him that nickname, Roman Reigns, the rain man? Oh, I hope not. They're going to make it happen. You're welcome, WWE. This is my, uh, you're welcome, WWE of the week. There you go. Everyone likes the fact that I worked the word micrometer into a joke. There you go, man. There you go. It's okay, people. I'll, I'll try it again later. <laughs> By the way, folks, if you're listening live, make sure you go on Facebook because uh, you got a chat room also you can join. Um, the link is right on the Facebook page, facebook.com slash group slash THD podcast. Yes, it is. There you go. Join in, the, join in the hijinks with us. Yes, sir. Well, um, with, well, with yeah, me, this, at least. This, this, match was, uh, this match was fine, man. I, I'm, I'm liking Ryback. He's losing a little bit of steam. Hopefully, he has a good place on, on, on the WrestleMania card. Hopefully, mm-hmm. he's not in some Andre the, Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal thing. Yeah. Which most likely probably will be. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Let's see who they put. Uh, I could see him and Sheamus. No, two baby faces. Who would she- who's she- who-, who are they going to stick with Sheamus well, right she- away? Sheamus, if he comes back as a heel, that would be fun. I actually like that Sheamus and uh, Ryback is good. Who do you think they're going to put him- put Sheamus with, though, when he comes back? Because this- we're-, we're still technically talking about the match, because you know, it- it- right after the match is the Sheamus video. So. All right, well, so far we got Undertaker and Bray Wyatt. That's mm-hmm. pretty much penciled in. Sounds like um, it. Triple H and Sting. I'm guessing they're probably going to do a three-way again. With with Brian and Reigns and Brock, penciled in I hear yeah. Um, what else do we have? We got uh, probably uh Orton and and Dick Rollins. That's probably going to be penciled in. I could see that since they never really did anything with that feud. Right, and um, I don't know. That leaves. I certainly hope it's not like, you know, J&J security against Ziggler and, and Ryback or something like that. You think maybe... That'd be, you think that'd maybe, be terrible. You think maybe Bray is actually calling out Sheamus? Oh, I hope not. Wouldn't that be... No, Bray? Wouldn't that no, be... No, he's not calling out... No, that, he's not calling out Sheamus. Wouldn't that be dude. the biggest disappointment in your life right about then? It would be because, it, I mean, it wouldn't make sense, though. Because he's talking about the face of fear. Seamus was never the face of, you know, anything, really. He's a Celtic warrior. Yeah, in his own damn mind, but... Oh, all right. Well, I'm sorry. That's not how it comes across on, on, on my television. You're going to have to excuse me. I might or might not have drank a Red Bull on the way here. Dude, I'm, I'm drinking a Monster right now. Oh, all right. I had a Red Bull on the way here. <laughs> Maybe that's a good formula. Maybe we should just like overdose on monsters and red bulls. I don't know, cause well now I'm drinking a uh, now I'm drinking. I, I, I got me some red stripe again. No, oh, Jamaica. Yeah, man, red stripe, good stuff, man. There you go. I like my red stripe. Swig a red stripe for the working man. There you go, man. Mm-hmm. I bat a boy. You bat a boy. Damn. Oh, you know what? Let me seg. Let me, let me just. That? Speaking of Steve Austin, let me segue into that. I watched his show Sunday night, the uh, Broken Skull Challenge, and I'm sitting there and I'm looking at it and I'm going, "That guy looks familiar. I've seen him before." The tattoos looked really familiar. It was Jesse Neal from TNA. Don't know him. Jesse Neal was the guy who was trained at by the uh, Dudleys. He was in Ink Ink with Shannon Moore. Nah, no. I mean, I I never was really big on TNA. You weren't watching at that time. He was he, nope. he was in TNA for a while. He's the one they make fun of because over Twitter he was talking about food stamps. That Dude, make what? Yeah, him and his girlfriend were talking about food stamps over Twitter. Don't ask. Uh, I, I, I don't know the whole story. Anyway, but, um, 
Yeah, Jesse Neal, who used to be on TNA, was on there. Never mentioned he was a pro wrestler. All he had said was he is a Navy um, veteran. And, you know, Steve, you know, thank you for your service, blah, blah. But um, didn't last long. He was out <laughs> in the first challenge. <laughs> so. Well, can you can you blame him? No, I, but I, I was a little shocked being in front of Steve Austin. He didn't at least mention being a pro wrestler. I'm sure, I guarantee Steve knew who he was anyway. He wore for TNA, man. I mean, Steve watches TNA, number one. Number two, you know he's friends with the Dudley boys. You know he knows this kid. You know he, you know he does. I got, I got no doubt in my mind he knew who this kid was, so... I thought it was weird though that uh, Jesse Neal was on there. I uh, just and he, he I'll tell you what, he's dropped a lot of weight. He looks pretty friggin' badass. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I don't really know what he looks like, so Yeah, he uh yeah, he, really Well he was a he was a big fat guy when he first came in, but he's definitely dropped some weight and but uh yeah, he was knocked out in the first challenge. Yeah. Yeah, I've yep. never seen that show. Yeah, I I I, I DVR'd it, and I watched it right before I watched, um, what do you call that show? Uh, Total Divas. <laughs> Come on, man. You actually watched it? Yeah. Ah, oh, Jesus. I won't be for the next few weeks because Wicked Tuna is recording, and I'm not going to mess with Wicked Tuna. I'd, I'd much rather watch Wicked Tuna than Total Divas. So. Yeah, instead of Total Divas, watch some, uh, I don't know, watch something else. Watch some... Yeah. Uh, Always Sunny in Philadelphia. It's a great show. Dude, Total Divas, I watch for the same reason that I watch Jersey Shore. It's so bad, it's funny to me. Yeah. It I really can't. is. It's horrible. Cena, the, the, this is the episode where John Cena comes out in a full mask and a singlet. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's that's another reason I don't watch it, because um, I watched the first season, I believe, and it just, just made me dislike the guy so much more so yeah i can barely tolerate him right now so as is and i just i really don't want to add to that i'd rather just avoid total devos as a whole well there you go again i mean you know we we do this podcast i'm uh you know I, i'm doing it for you guys all right well i i guess thank you <laughs> you're you're welcome I Gene. Can't. Thanks. All right. You're welcome. I, I really should have watched Lucha Underground, but I didn't. I haven't even had time to watch that, so I will. But um... yeah, yeah, it's probably the best wrestling on on television right now. I agree Lucha with you. I agree, but I yeah, I I haven't watched it yet. I'll I'll watch it probably. I might watch it when I get home tonight. We'll see. Yeah, Wednesday they're gonna have uh, John Morrison. What's his name? Uh, Johnny Mundo. There you go. Against uh, M, M Dog Twenty, huh. um, Matt Cross. I uh, forget his name in Lucha Underground. Son of Havoc. Son of Havoc. There yes. you go. There you that go. Should be a good match, man. M, M Dog Twenty is awesome. Yeah, and looks like they got some new people coming in. They got. Uh, I, I read that Jack Evans is coming in. Nice. Um, I think they said Willie Mack was one of the names I read. I, nice. Nice. Yeah, that's nice. I'll get over. Yeah, I think to the, you mentioned that last. Yeah, I'll get over to the. I, I think I did too. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I did. I was, it was Saturday when I mentioned it. Now, now that you mentioned it, you're right. I do know one thing though. I don't know if you want me to spoil that or not. Can I spoil it? Spoil it. All right. Well, Del Rio made his debut uh, last week mm -hmm. for Lucha. So that's that's exciting. I want to see that. But unfortunately, my, like I said, my DVR didn't record it, so I'll probably have to rely on YouTube once again. Eh, no big deal. Yeah, I'm I'm I I got it. I got it. I just need to get it. Yeah. Yeah, I just need to watch it. I just haven't picked it up yet, but I will. Yes, sir. I sure will. Um. What else, man? Um, we well, got? we get into, let's see, Ryback beats Seth Rollins. We get into Paige versus Brie Bella. Brie mode. <laughs> did they forget, 
Why did she do that in the middle of the match? She she screamed the Brie mode thing. That's what she's been doing lately. I don't know. She I, I, did she forget she's she's not a face. <laughs> does she does she not know how to be a heel? No, they don't. They they know how to yell, scream, and show off their whatever they have. I mean, what are you doing, Daniel Bryan? You're you're her, you know, husband for God's sake. She tried to be a good heel. I know. I mean, AJ came back as a great heel. Look who her husband is. I mean, you know. Yeah, but imagine like living with CM Punk. He's probably like the most miserable guy. I don't you would have to be. A, he would turn you heel. Legit, like real life heel. You would be depressed living with that guy. Ah, uh, he's probably, he's probably good to her. I would be. I would uh, be good not. to her. If I had that, I'd be fucking great to her. God damn it. Yeah, but you're you're not Phil. I'm I'm sorry. CM Punk, I'm sorry. No, but don't don't come don't come kill us, CM Punk. No, but no. uh all men think with their dick. So <laughs> But why does he why does he get mad at the whole Phil thing? Because he's a fucking self righteous douche sometimes. Because, like, at first, at first I agreed with him. I was like, yeah, people shouldn't call him Phil because they don't know him. But now that he's actually approaching the MMA career, I mean, they usually go by their real names. So. Oh, they're going to call him... Phil it is. They're going to call him CM Punk. I guarantee it. Yeah, but it's a good excuse to call him Phil and get away with it. Not that I would call him Phil. I don't care either way. But. Oh, I would if I see him. Hey, Phil. You fuck. What's up, Phil? Hey, what's up, dude, man? Sup, Big fan, Phil? CM Punk. <laughs> hey, man, uh, Phil, can I get an autograph, dude? Yeah. Instantly punched in the face. Instantly. He'd probably try. Well, he could try to punch me. I'd knock his ass out. Yeah. That guy <laughs> is miserable, man. I, mean, I really like Punk, but he just... I don't know. He comes off likable and so I think he has some, like, fucking issues. Is he likable in some interviews that he does? For example, like the you know, he's made appearances on on Cabana's podcast in the past. Not even just that interview that he's done. He's you know mm -hmm. he just comes in. He's a he used to be a regular guy on on his podcast before he kind of took off. Actually, when he was even the champ, he used to come on his podcast almost at least once a month. Um, and he you know he came off like a, like a nice guy. And then you get some interviews where he comes off like a dick. So I don't know. I don't know if he has like split personality or he's bipolar. I'm not sure. I don't know, man. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know. You know what he comes maybe he off. Just... Go ahead. I'm sorry. Maybe he just hates wrestling fans. Maybe. I mean, he comes off cool when he's on Opie and Anthony, or you know, sitting there talking to yeah. Sam Roberts. He does come off pretty cool. So I don't know, man. Yeah. I don't know. That's weird. Maybe he's just got his little, he's just got a few little things and does what he does. What can you say? Uh, what's the next match, man? Next match is um, actually after that match, uh, Paige defeated Bree. By the way, is uh, the Rana? Blah, 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 blah. Listen to me, Lana and Rusev. Lana, Lana and Rusev tribute for uh, they did this little video for John Cena. Um. Lana and Rusev are really, those two are really coming off awesome in my opinion, especially Lana. Yeah, they're like probably one of the best things on Raw. They, really, they are. I'm, I totally agree with you. She is amazing. Yeah, and I really appreciate. It. Like I, uh, a couple of weeks ago, I mentioned it, how um Sam Roberts met them at one of these gas stations or, or rest stops on their way back to New York from uh, from Royal Rumble, and and they were still in gimmick. So, you know, I don't know, little stuff like that I appreciate. I mean, I'm not some fucking 70-year-old wrestling fan that, you know, says kayfabe should be alive and, you know, wrestlers should travel in different buses. I'm not saying that, but when you see heels, like, especially the big ones, you know, the big badasses, when they're in character, it's, it's I appreciate that. Like, guys like, uh, you know, even like Boogeyman, that guy he used, to, he used to be in character all the fucking time, you know? He used to fucking, you know, eat those worms. When you saw people and shit, like that's mm -hmm. that's pretty hardcore. That's, you know, that is hardcore. Until he started getting sick, apparently. I think I heard it on uh, MLW. They were talking about um, Boogeyman and how one time he was he was 
having an asthma attack and they had to take him to the emergency room. And she, she was trying to stay in gimmick, you know, while he was almost pretty much dying. He was trying to cover his face in a, in, in a blanket, and he was in, he was you know he was, he was in the same fucking paint. He was he was doing the whole gimmick in the hospital. So you know little stuff like that I appreciate, man. So I salute guys like that. It's good, Rusev. 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 Yeah, I, 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 yeah. But this, um, this little thing for for Rusev and Lana was great. They showed a cool little video for Cena. It showed him, you know, all the injuries he's had, and Cena just all the obstacles he's overcome. Yeah, Cena just laughed it off and turned it around, and I don't know. I really, I'm not gonna say it was a bad promo by Cena, but I just didn't like it. He is my hero. Whatever. So, I don't know. But uh, they started brawling. Cena's eye looked like someone beat the shit out of him. So, yeah. I so I whatever, don't know. Thank you. Whoever did that. Uh, they're they're saying it was from that match with Rusev. So they're just they're just. I don't know what really happened. He probably did what uh, Ryback used to do and did it while lifting weights. Uh, I don't know. Popped himself. He's not really a likable guy, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if somebody popped him in the eye. Yeah, he probably just popped himself with a kettlebell or something. Maybe so. Maybe so. Maybe one of Nikki's big old boobies came out and just gave him a black eye. Yeah, that was, uh, <laughs> yeah. He'd look like they would hurt. Just a big fake booby right in the right in your eye. Just pow! Oh! Fake ass titties. Woo! I don't care. I, she got some nice titties. She got some fake ass titties. She got some nice titties. I wouldn't call them nice. They're, they're uh, I don't know, man. I'm not really into fake. Yeah, we've had this discussion. So, I like them. We have indeed. We've had this discussion. Yes, we have. Yes, we have. Now, the next match, if you want to go to the next match yet. Or do you want to um, talk? Well... More about it. One, one second. As, as far as Fastlane, um, what's your prediction as far as this match for Fastlane? I'm guessing uh, Rusev is probably going to win by some kind of fuckery. Um, there's probably going to be some kind of fuck finish. Uh, and Cena is going to get the rematch at WrestleMania. And he's going to overcome the obstacle once again. And, you know, kids are going to cheer him and... You know, the fireworks are going to go off, and he's going to raise his cute little towel that says never give up. I don't know, man. And, yeah. I I it's honestly, up. I mean, they're really trying to push Rusev. I could see him winning clean. Honestly, I could. I hope he does, but then what are they going to do with Cena at, at, at WrestleMania? I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I know I don't care either. For all I care, you could just sit at home. They could I'd be happy with that. They could still work but, him into a saying. rematch. They could still work it into a rematch. Oh, hold on. What was that? Something Yo, else. guys, what's up? Yo, who, up, uh, who's, who's this? That? It's Steve. Hey, what's going on, man? Not much, man. What are you guys getting into tonight? Not much, man. We're talking about uh, Rusev and Cena right now. Uh, okay. Talking about Rusev and Cena. Get? Talking about, uh, we think that, uh, well, I think that uh, Rusev is probably going to beat Cena at Fastlane with some kind of fuck finish. And we're going to get the rematch at WrestleMania. Mm -hmm. And, you know, John Cena is probably going get to get, get his usual win at WrestleMania. And that's that. Yeah, that's why I could see Rusev possibly winning clean and then Cena getting the big the big comeback win for the US. I mean, what better place to get Rusev's streak broken than WrestleMania? Yeah. I don't know, man. It's kind of weird how we, It's kind of weird how he's fighting for the US belt. I don't think he's winning that belt. That's why I think it could be a clean win with Rusev. That'll bring him way up and put him on that Cena level. And then, you know, you can get the whole, oh, I should have beat him and blah, blah, and who knows. So. I personally would, would love to see Rusev beat him clean, man. He needs yeah. it. He needs it more than anybody. 
I agree. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if you want to build the guy up, give him give him clean clean wins, and then um, yeah, they can they can build Rusev up, and next year bring somebody up from NXT and have him be him. Have you know Kevin Steen, uh, Kevin Owens when he debuts, have him beat Rusev and have Rusev you know carry that streak out until then. Have this guy come out, or even Sami Zayn, somebody like that. Have them come out and beat him. Not not one of these old guys that don't really need it. Right. Mm-hmm. I'm with you. I, I think I think Rusev has, has so much potential. When he came up from uh, NXT, I was like kind of, I wasn't too sharp on him, but just his facials and the way he like just carries himself, man. That dude is a that dude is a star. That dude could be this era's Taz. Oh yeah, that dude. Um, honestly, with this happening, with uh the whole Dick Rollins thing, I think if if, if he was to get deep pushed. <laughs> You know the the, the main heel is going to be Rusev, and you know I'm absolutely fine with that. I think I think he can uh, he can carry that position. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Mm-hmm. I do too. But uh, Steve, you got any you got any topics you want to talk about while you're on here? Um. Well, one topic is I haven't really been watching Raw too closely, so I don't really. I'm not really up on the last two weeks of what's been going on. I know, like, basically the angles and stuff like that. But, um, I mean, if if you guys want to get into, like, some indie indie stuff, man, like, that's that's where my head's been at lately, you know. Yeah, well, uh, I don't I don't know how much Boxman has been following the indies, but let's 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 do it. What's what's on your mind, man? Go ahead. I'll, I'll, well, I'll go get a beer. <laughs> well, for the, for the next couple of days, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna be looking some of these guys up that are gonna be on the CZW show just to kind of familiarize. You know, I know a handful of the guys, but uh, uh, another uh, another uh, tag team that's called my eyes, a juicy product. Have you, you know a lot about those guys? Um, I saw them at Tournament of Death last year. Um, they were the tag champions at the time. I've seen them at a. I think they were at Beyond Wrestling. I've seen some of their stuff. They're they're okay. Um, they kind of remind yeah. me of um, Bobby Yee a little bit. Okay, I I saw like some you know I came across a couple like highlight videos. So of course they're gonna like showcase like the best of what the guys have to offer, and it looked pretty sweet. But um, you know my my cousin and his boy are uh, the guys who run the place that he wrestles at have been like asking them. Like, what indie guys would you guys like to book for you guys to face? And th- that was actually one of the names that came up. And that's what made me kind of, like, go out and look and check them out. But, th- I mean, th- yeah, they seem to be pretty hot. They seem to be pretty hot. Yeah, they, they're definitely getting their name out there as far as uh, the Northeast. And um, go, go ahead and, 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 and plug uh, Steve's company. Um, I think it's On Point Wrestling, right? Um, It's Old Time Wrestling. Um, oh, I wish I had like the address and stuff like that, but you you can find it on Facebook. They they have a, they have a group. It's old time wrestling, and the place was actually founded by Jim Milano, who's a former referee for ECW. And um, actually, I forget the dude's name, but um, that old guy that used to be the ring announcer, not Joel Gardner, but the other ECW ring announcer, actually announced. Like at like one of their first really big shows, man. I was there. I saw Jim Milano. I see this this announcer dude. I was like, it was like a really so real like weird moment. You know what I mean? Like yeah, like flash from the past kind of thing. You know? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely support uh indie wrestling, man. Um, is this old time wrestling out of New Jersey? I'll be there as well. Should be a good time. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, man. Is this the one out of New Jersey? Old time wrestling. What was that? Is Old Time Wrestling out of New Jersey? Yes. All right. I'll post a link right here on the Facebook. I got it. Awesome. Great, man. There you Thanks. go. There you go. Also, uh, House of Hardcore is coming in March. That should be exciting. And then, um, I don't know, man. I, I highly recommend Tournament of Death. If you're ever going to go to a CZW show, Tournament of Death is, is, is the one to go to. If, if you want to go, I'm definitely going this year. Tournament of Death, that's... Last year, dude, I, I had the time of my life. That was probably one of the best experiences I've ever had wrestling related. Is it going to be in Philly? It's going to be in Delaware. About an hour, hour and a half drive. Okay, yeah, that's not, you know, that's not. Actually, I'm, I'm like in Delaware County, so it's actually like about a half hour closer to me than 
you know, South Philly yeah. where I used to live. So that's that's pretty right. sweet, man. I, you know, like I, we talked about this a little bit at the Rumble, but like CZW always seemed like kind of like an ECW knockoff. Like that's kind of how I looked at it for a long time. And then like I started like I started catching back up with it, man. And there there was some really good stuff there, man. That, you know, the whole yeah. Trent Ass era when he wasn't, like, at his best, you know, rest in peace to the guy and all that. But, like, uh, the backseat boys and all that stuff, I've been looking that kind of stuff up, man. They they got, like, a legacy there, man. Yeah, definitely. Um, It's funny you bring up that. Uh, I was I was going through my stuff, my uh, my wrestling DVDs, and I found a bunch of old, these, uh, old uh, CZW stuff. And it actually has a lot of uh, Cesaro on there, a lot of... Um, Chris Hero, um, like you said, Backseat Boys, Trent Acid, of course. Um, who else was on there? Um, uh, of course, Blackout. You know, um, Blackout was, was a big part of CZW, early CZW. Guys like Joker, right. guys like uh, even, even, you know, J.C. Bailey, like, you know, guys like that. And, uh, of course, you know, Sick Nick Mondo, you know, won, won a, he retired early. But as far as Deathmatch, man, you want to talk Deathmatch Wrestling, that's that's where it's at. Absolutely. You know, he, he, he was um... – a lot of people dog that guy for a long time, but I, I think, you know, it, it, as much as people say he bit off of this person and bit off of that person, he was like the cornerstone of that company when they first opened up, man. If it wasn't for that guy getting out there, I mean, he ended up in video games, like the backyard wrestling video games and stuff. Like, you know, right. I, I really, I'm, I'm a fan of Nick Mondo all the way. Yeah, and he's, honestly, he's really uh, really an intelligent guy if you, uh, if you ever get to hold a conversation with a guy. You wouldn't expect him to be doing all that crazy shit, but he is. Right. Well, you know, they, they say um, Necro Butcher is, like, you know, people look at him like he's a caveman, but um, uh, who, yeah, no. I heard a podcast somewhere, and somebody was saying, like, he's, like, a really good worker. That, like, they seen him wrestle a wrestling match, and he was tremendous. But he yeah, found his um, little niche, and yeah. that's where he makes his money. Yeah. Yeah, if you actually, uh, if you ever get a chance, search up some uh, stuff with Necro Butcher and Samoa Joe. If you want to watch some good wrestling, man, those guys had some badass matches. Well, I would love to see that. Ring of Honor? Yeah, and actually, uh, uh, no, Ring of Honor and PWG, maybe. Um, and also Super Dragon. Or, you know Super Dragon, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Super he Dragon. Kinda and, uh, Necro Butcher. He kind of ended he his did, career yeah, early, too, right? Yeah, he just, I, I think, you know, the whole thing was he supposedly had a bad attitude and this, that, and the third. But, you know, I don't know. But, yeah, that guy, right. he, he, he was stiff, man. He, you know, the strong style and all that stuff, he, you know, kind of capitalized on that in the U.S. Yeah, I saw some of his some of his stuff with uh, Kevin Owens, Kevin Steen, and my God, how hard they hit each other, man. It was like bone rattling. Like, if... If somebody like a young kid wants to get into wrestling and they watch that for what it is, they might like change their mind, you know. Yeah, definitely, man. Uh, yeah, Super Dragon, Kevin Steen, and uh, El Generico at the time. You know, those three guys, man. They uh, <laughs> they had some some crazy matches in PWG. Oh, I wanted to um to to a uh, little flashback here. You guys were talking when Tony Ruffo was on on the podcast, and he mentioned something about SD Jones, and everybody got like a good laugh out of it. Right. The first match I ever watched in my life that I remember was SD Jones and Paul Orndorff, and they announced SD Jones from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. He was my favorite wrestler from that point for maybe like until I found <laughs> Paul Hogan. <laughs> so I got a good chuckle out of that too. <laughs> there you go, man. S S D Jones. S D Jones. S. Um, <laughs> yeah, I honestly, think Tony. I, I wouldn't be surprised if you see him in the Hall of Fame in like twenty years once they run out of people to put in. He's in the Hall of Fame. No, no, no. I, I just think maybe in twenty years they'll they'll put him in the Hall of Fame. No, he he's in. Uh huh. He's in. I think so. I'm almost oh, sure. Get the, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Hold on. I'm breaking out the oh, Google. Man. Come on. And people are complaining about Rikishi. <laughs> oh, I know. Man. I know, oh, man. Ah, oh, you, uh, oh, you got to stop that, people, please. You know what, that. man? I, I, I'm. How do you feel about Rikishi? Let, let's talk about that. 
how do you feel about Rikishi going in? Yeah, well, we we briefly went over it, but yeah, I'm I'm absolutely fine with it, man. I think the the guy's had you know longevity for a while. I mean, he's been around for you know 20 years. And, uh, worked WCW, NWA, worked. Uh, I think he worked in Puerto Rico as well, actually. And uh, WWE, he, you know, he had a couple of different runs. So I'm I'm absolutely fine with it. What do you think, Boxman? Yeah. I'm fine with it. I, I I got no problem with Rikishi going in. Well, yeah, like you said, we talked about it earlier. Not a problem at all. And you know what? I'm looking at something here. SD Jones is not in. He inducted Tony Atlas in 2006. Oh, uh, okay, okay. I knew I seen him on that stage at some point, though. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I, I was I was about to say, man. That, we, that's that's crazy. That's like we, Barry Horowitz going on. You know? We spit facts on this. <laughs> show. I can see Barry Horowitz before that. Right. Yeah. If, if yeah, but I'm, 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 in, Chris Candido needs to be in. Absolutely. Well, if Sonny's in, put Candido in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If Sonny's in, Candido should be in. I mean, Sonny's diddling herself on Skype for 20 bucks a pop. Yeah, she's not that her that, ass and everything. Not Look, I'm not knocking her. Just want you to know that. I ain't knocking the chick. Hey. <laughs> she, she, yeah, we're not knocking her. She's just a weird cat, you know. She's a weird cat. You know? That's it. That's yeah, it. a really weird cat with a weird cat. <laughs> a weird cat. Not knocking the guy. It's just a weird cat. That's right. She's oh, a weird pussy cat. Uh, you got anything else uh, you want to talk about, Steve? Um, not anything really that jumps out at me. All right. Well, Boxman, what else do we have on Raw? Raw. If you want to, if you want to hang around, you can hang around. You're more than welcome to hang around and, while we talk about Raw. Yeah, everyone's saying the quality uh-huh. of the call is good, so we're all good here. Um, next match nice. was was uh, Bray versus Dolph Ziggler. Um, I actually, I think they have really good chemistry in the ring. I thought this was a really good match. Yeah, I did too. I did yeah, too. Was, uh... Uh, they, they they do have pretty good chemistry in the ring. Um. I liked it. I got no. I had no problem with this match at all. Now, one Clean. thing I'll say is, uh, Dolph Ziggler, man. I mean, I'm I'm all for the guy selling his ass off, but man, when he took that bump outside, when when he got clotheslined, that scared the shit out of me. I thought the guy got concussed. I was like, all right, this is the third time. Next thing you know, the guy's gonna be doing commentary on main event like uh, Corey Graves. So I. You know, I wish we had the chill the fuck out button once again so we could press that for uh, Dolph Ziggler, but he needs to chill the fuck out. Yeah. Uh, another thing is, like, he barely looks strong. Like, he barely ever looks strong. Like, he's selling so much and he's on the run so much and flipping and flopping. He, he, he never, like, he never gets enough momentum where you think that he's like a... Like, I, I mean, I love the dude's athleticism. I think he's a great, a great hand and all that. But, like, he never seems like he's really on a roll in a match. Mm-hmm. Well, see, the thing is, he can he can sell his ass off as much as he wants, and it, it can it can still work if they just give him the proper amount of wins to eat to kind right. of balance it out. You know, because if, if if the guy's getting his ass whooped the whole match, that's telling a story. If he wins at the end, you know, that's kind of like the underdog story. So it makes sense. But at the end, if he loses every time, then it's like, all right, well, the guy just gets his ass whooped. Hmm. Yeah, you know? he is, but I mean, it, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. He, he he does make some comebacks, but you're right. As soon as he starts making his comeback, the guy like flicks him, and he falls like someone just you know hit him with a goddamn <laughs> missile or something. So, yeah, I yeah. agree. I mean, he was on he was on a roll until he got fired, and then ever since he came back, he's been losing. Now, due to you know giving him, giving him some credit. He's facing top guys like Bray Wyatt and stuff like that, so it kind of makes sense for him to lose. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, you got you got to give him some wins to balance that out. Otherwise, he's just looking like an ass out there. Well, I mean, he was even losing when he had the IC title, which obviously that's what they do to their title holders. But I mean, he yeah. was, he he does lose a lot more than he wins. But when he wins, the crowd goes nuts. I don't know why they just don't let him win more. But I don't know. Definitely. Well. Uh, uh, what what was what was the next match? Mm-hmm. Ah, excuse me. New day. New day. New day. Right. I was trying to get that. Uh, I was trying to get that new day. New day chant going at the Womble. 
And uh, yeah, you almost yeah. you almost got me beat up. Yeah, I was about to say you're lucky yeah. you didn't get your ass <laughs> kicked. We're not selling it. <laughs> Actually, you know we're what? We're not selling that. Before we get into New Day, let's go ahead. Uh, we had something in the middle there. We had a Paul Heyman promo with Brock. Um, Paul Heyman comes in and paints the usual beautiful picture with words. Um, God damn, he is good, man. He just he just yeah, goes absolutely. in. He tells the story. He tells the truth, and he you know wraps it up and he gets out. It's perfect. It's beautiful. It's it's a it, it literally is a picture painted with words by Paul Heyman. Absolutely, man. The guy is an artist with words. We um, do put this guy over. I, mean, a I lot. think he should be an actor. Honestly, you should you should be an actor. Yeah, technically he is. Well, WWE movies, stop putting out shit. Give this guy some money and, and, and make some leg, you know legitimate movies. They'll have him in like a Wall like a Wall Street remake or something. Yeah, or uh, even even in a horror movie, you know, I, I can see him pulling something off. He'd be a good maniacal doctor or something. Yeah, the the, the ultimate villain. Yeah, he would be. Exactly. He'd be a great. He'd be just a good the villain, penguin. exactly. Penguin, there you go. Play, yeah, play the penguin in uh in Batman. There you go. You could uh they could remake uh the the Gacy movie, that that killer clown thing. Make him a uh, fat clown. There you go. They could do. Or remake that. Spawn. Make him the clown from Spawn. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. There you go. As there good as like was. There you go. Did. You're welcome, yeah. WWE. You're there welcome. you go. Yeah. We're just spitting out ideas. We'll uh, we'll be expecting our royalty checks in the mail. There you go. We're not spinning out ideas. We're spinning out facts. That's right. <laughs> how how WWE. much money do you think Paul? How much money do you think Paul Heyman banks from ECW that he still has? Mm, I don't you know think it? he was ever broke. I don't think he was ever I, broke, I, man. He made much. I don't think he made much though. He's well, so, I, mean, I don't. I heard so weird ECW because. They were, I mean, dude, I was, I was going to the shows towards the end, and the, the, you know, they were, they was sold out houses. So I don't really know where the fucking money was going, but Shane God, Douglas God. said, Shane Douglas said when he was on top, he was making six figures. Yeah. From what Heyman says, so, the real nail in the coffin was the the, uh, the fact that they had no distribution company. Um. Right. So that's really where the I mean the money was trying to go to get a distribution company. That's what they were trying to do and without distribution you're not going far. So according to Paul Heyman that was the nail in the coffin. Once they lost distribution it was a just a slippery downward slope from there. Yeah, but also at the same time, I mean Paul Heyman as as great of an on-screen character as he as he may be, he's not really a good businessman as as many of you may know. I mean, everybody said that on on shoot interviews that was involved with ECW. You look at this guy; they got a they got a deal with TNN, and although it may not be a good deal, and and TNN was ripping them off and not really promoting their shit or whatever the case may be, uh, Paul Heyman was going on TNN and and pretty much just burying the channel. If you're burying the mm-hmm. network, you're probably not going to get any kind of their deals. I mean, other companies are going to look at you. They're going to be like, okay, so. If we get in some kind of, you know, argument with this guy, he's just going to bury us. So why would anybody give him any kind of distribution deal, any kind of network deal, anything like that? So, I mean, that's a, that's another reason they got, they pretty much, oh, yeah, that's, he's, he's not a businessman. He was he was a great mind for wrestling, but he, he needed some help. Yep. They even went as far as make it like an angle with, like, uh, Cyrus the Virus was representing the network. Like, the network was back in Rhino, you know? Like, Dude. they, they, they right. took that a little bit too far. I loved that. Right, that Rhino angle. and Tajiri and, and Steve Carino and all them. I loved that angle. That guy Cyrus was great at that role. Yeah, yeah. I do. He was, I, he was really annoying, though. I I don't know. Exactly. He annoyed the hell out. Of he exactly. knew how to get heat, man. That dude knew how to get heat. Exactly. He was annoying, and he was a prick, and he just looked like the company prick that you wanted to beat up, especially at that time, all the long hair. You know, he just looked like the 90s company asshole that you wanted to beat the shit out of. Right. And he was good at his yeah. role. I mean, it's like, you know, Dario Cueto, you know, is awesome at what he does, and this guy's good, too. That guy was good, sorry. 
definitely. Well, Boxman, um, what's what's the next match on on this week's? Yeah, we've put Paul, Paul Heyman over enough. <laughs> um, it, the next match was the New Day. We've already gone through that. New Day. I said we already went through it. God damn it, Shaheen. <laughs> Hot tag. Hot tag. There you go. Uh, Hot it was, tag. It was it was Kofi and Big E with uh, Gold and Stardust, and this match turned into a bit of a clusterfuck. Yeah. Um. Dude, you, you know what I found really awkward was uh, when they came out when the New Day came out. They said that they're more brothers than than Stardust and and and. and gold us. I mean, that's that's fucking racial undertones at its finest, you know. I mean, he's, I don't know, dude. WWE's been fucking racist since 1970, so <laughs> this is nothing new, but it's just kind of weird in 2015 to see guys like R-Truth and New Day coming out and doing this shit, but I don't know, man. I don't even I don't even know why these guys are accepting these, these fucking these scripts because if I was a black dude and they gave me that script, bro, I'm not going out there and doing that. It's just as simple as that. Not the, the 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 worst part is Big E. I mean Xavier Woods is cool and all, but I'm gonna leave him out of the conversation. Big E and Kofi Kingston are money. Whether they're, I'm not saying they're draw, they're gonna draw money, but you you slash those colorful colors on Kofi Kingston, he's gonna sell a ton of T-shirts. He does his Spider-Man moves and all this stuff. You can make money off of these guys individually. Why you would hamstring them and put them in these goofy outfits? It makes no sense, man. They're tied to each other. It's terrible, man. It's terrible. Yeah. And 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 you know Xavier Woods, he was on. He was when he was doing commentary. He said he had his PhD, and then they have him coming out and and, and doing this asshole gimmick. It's like, all right, well, you know, you had this going on with this guy. You got Sin Cara. You know, that you give basically any Mexican guy that comes to the roster, they give him, they pass down the Sin Cara gimmick to him. You know, or, I don't know, man. I don't know. It's it's not a good look for a for a publicly traded company to be doing this shit. If you're gonna if you're gonna be as PC as you are, at least do it. You know, at least kind of you know incorporate that into into every aspect of the game. You can't just be doing that as as far as you know nudity and, and profanity, and then just just be racist at the same time. And yeah, I don't know, man. It's just weird. Vince I guess we're McMahon gonna said the N word on TV. What was that? Vince McMahon said the N word on TV. Like, but he said it to John TV. Cena. Yeah, to John Cena. Yeah. Really? John, I, oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh! You guys keep talking. I'll pull that clip fuck? up. I'll pull that clip up for you, Shaheen. <laughs> Hold please, on. Please, please do. I've never seen this. Oh, I am on YouTube as we are speaking. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I am on Jesus. YouTube. On it. God damn. Talk about being fucking out of touch, man. Jesus Christ. It was a few it was a few years ago, but he he did it. And Booker T was being in like three it, it, feet from him. Dude, I don't care if it was fucking 95. It, come on, man. No, it was later this than that. It was like... 19, this is not 1940, you know? No, it was probably 19... I mean, he, he, he used it with an A. So, you know. It's a, oh, <laughs> Hold on, I'm getting Vince McMahon. This is the same guy that was wearing a fucking do-rag for, for, for six months. <laughs> oh, is this what he did? <laughs> is this what he did? <laughs> this fucking guy, man. God. Oh, here we go. A do-rag. You never failed to disappoint me. You never failed to disappoint me, man. You disappointed me at the Rumble. You disappointed me with morals. You didn't oh disappoint God. me with the network, though. I like that. So oh, my I, God. They that. have him saying That's the N-word to Booker T. All right. Here's the one that I think. What? This is one with Booker T. Booker T. I'm going to play this Why? one. Hold on. This one's 31 seconds. I'm playing it. Let me see if there's an ad first. No, What's here. Up, <laughs> no, it's John Cena. Yeah. What's good in the hood? Let's hold it down. Try to take care of business. Keep it up. I'm a nigga. And he walks right past Booker T. 
I couldn't really hear that. And you know, you know, Booger T wants to say, "Please tell me you didn't just say that." He did. <laughs> You're right. It is kind of low. You know what I can do? I can fix that. Give me a minute. Yeah, I, I couldn't really hear that. I'll play it again that, in a minute. Man, that is that is that's ridiculous. Man. I'll play it again in just a second. I'm, I got to do a quick little thing to it, and I can get the volume up on it. Go ahead and talk amongst yourselves. I'm working on it. Well, Steve, uh, fucking CZW, is it, is it this weekend or next weekend? Next weekend. Next weekend. All right. And uh, the, I guess there's a, if anybody wants to check it out, um, February 21st, I believe. It's going to start at 4 p.m. So it's going to be at the 2300 Arena, I believe. It's well, the, the ECW uh, Arena. The, the 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 WSU card starts at 4 p.m. CZW starts at 8 p.m. Why? Wow, it's a four-hour card for the for the women's division. Well, I think I think there's like a, um, I think there's like a two-hour setup in between. I think Man. I think, or maybe an hour. Now, are you are you are you gonna go to the the WSU? No, I mean, I figure, you know, I'm trying to get down there early, if, you know, if we're going to cook and all that stuff, but I'm not really interested yeah. in going to that show. Yeah, that's that's what I was wondering, because I'd, I'd much rather just, just tailgate instead of uh, watching that. All right. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not I mean, really interested in that. I mean, but, like, uh, female wrestling on TV is bad enough. A female indie promotion? Ugh. <laughs> that's scary. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I mean, uh, you know, if that's your thing, that's fine. But uh, me personally, I'm just because you know I know a lot of people are into women's wrestling. If that's your thing, then you know, go ahead and do your thing. But for me personally, I I can't really get into it unless it's really good wrestling. There has been women's right, matches right. where you know I, I've liked it, but it's not. Yeah, so give me often. give me give me Gail Kim versus anybody, and you know I'll, I'll give a good thumbs up. But you know right. I don't like the slow robotic stuff. You know. I have my I have my wife watching some of the women's wrestling and she she's just asking me like why are they moving like that why are they like bouncing like that and I'm like I have no idea yeah. <laughs> like well, I have no clue yeah well it, honestly on WWE it really comes off overly scripted you can tell that they're basically just they look like gymnasts just just doing you know acrobatic moves not really totally, wrestling totally okay you know, and a lot of people say that about the indies and whatnot and you know just doing spot fest but you know at least they can pull it off and it looks much better than when the divas do it they they, they wow the crowd it's not though. very good right now now my whole thing is you you look at like look at some of these these indie cards that have been stacked recently and they're drawing huge crowds uh pwg's crowds are i mean I'm not saying huge, but you know, 600 to 1,000 people is huge for an indie show. You know, that that should be the core, like that should be the demographic that WWE is targeting, because they're trying they're trying to please any and everybody, and they're ending up pleasing nobody. You know, because the, the ratings have been in the toilet for the last six weeks. Uh, it's you know they well, you know, they, they, they they still got the soccer moms. That's that's what's important to Stephanie. Oh, McMahon. sure, it's sure. Block them out. So that's that. Apparently, yeah, according I, to Stephanie McMahon, thirty percent of, of of the wrestling demographic that watches Raw every week is is block them out. So that's why they do that. Right. And you know, I'm not, not. I'm not like that. They they hate us, man. Believe me. If anything, yeah, any fans from Philly, they hate us more than anything now. So we're like on the bottom of the totem pole. We don't even. Uh, we don't even matter. Absolutely. I mean, we might as well say goodbye to WrestleMania 33, but um, yeah, we're 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 buried, <laughs> we're, we're, we're buried alive. We, but we but don't like, everybody. It, I mean, I don't I don't have a problem with the PG rating and all that stuff, but like, if it was presented in just like a little bit more of a believable way, like, I I, I don't want to be beat over the head that I, I don't know. I just feel like while I'm while I'm watching it, like I. If I'm at a, sh- uh, a, a small indie show live, I can easily just pretend that it's real. I want to pretend that it's real. I wish I could when I'm watching Raw, you know? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, honestly, uh, everybody kind of glorifies 
the Attitude Era, and the Attitude Era, honestly, not every episode was PG-14. A lot of it was PG. Was PG. Mm-hmm. So that just yeah, goes ahead and shows the first you that. Hour. Right. right. You, can, you, can, you can do a good show with a PG rating. It's just a matter of how you do the storytelling and, you know, not as much scripted promos. And I think what's really hurting uh, Raw is, is, is being three hours and also the scripted promos. That's honestly what's killing it right now for me. Yep. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. I can't agree enough. By the way, um, next week, hopefully, uh, I don't want to jump the gun on this, but next week uh, we're going to have former um, Jersey All-Pro and former CZW, former Pro Wrestling Syndicate uh, wrestler on here. Deathmatch legend as far as the Northeast. We're going to have Low Life Louis Ramos on here next week. We're going to talk to him. Uh, he's got a big announcement that he's going to announce this week, so we're going to talk to him. Talk some good old deathmatch wrestling. And he's been in the ring with everybody, man. He's, he's, he's been trained by uh, Homicide. He's been in the ring with Homicide. Guys like Loki, I believe. Even uh, Terry Funk and uh, Abdul the Butcher, I think, even. so. Yes, I saw that match, and I knew you'd want to ask about it. Definitely. <laughs> I so, know you will. It's going to be some good stuff. Cool. Hey, I got that thing pulled up now. Nice. All right, you ready? Yep. <laughs> How you doing? Yeah. What's good in the hood? Just hold it down, trying to take care of business. Keep it up, I'm a nigga. That was Vince? Yes. That was Vince man. Oh. He says it like Jackie Chan says it in Rush Hour. Now, clearly, I wasn't watching. I just Tell when me. I stopped watching wrestling, apparently. You didn't just now, say that. Booker T. <laughs> Is it still going? That was it. You can catch the video on YouTube. Now, it's a quick 30-second video. Yeah. Now, uh, you know, obviously, I didn't see this. So, Boxman, do you, were you watching wrestling? Oh, I happened? remember this. Oh, I remember this vividly. This was, I, I want to say, 2004. Was it same now, it was? what was the reaction from, from the USA Network? Nothing. It was nothing. so under the radar. It was. It like never even came uh, up, but nothing. Nothing. Maybe it was. Crazy. Maybe it was a rib on uh, on Booker for the Hogan thing years ago. It was Booker's. right around the time. It was right around the time that that video went viral. Yeah. So Vince is in his infinite wisdom figures. If Booker T can call Hulk Hogan the n-word then i can call john cena the n-word and it'll be okay yeah and it just is, shows you he's been out of touch there's another video of him it's a minute i'm not going to play it it's a minute 25 long but there's another video of him calling booker t i'm gonna i'll post this on the youtube or on the facebook sorry that's crazy man. yeah there's another one of him calling yeah, booker t long. here i'm posting it in just a second here well, this, I mean, you know, the whole New Day gimmick really just does not surprise me now. Now that I've you know, heard this. So. <laughs> there you go. I get it. There you go. Yeah, By the way, uh, man, I, I, have a, I have a quick request, Boxman. Okay. All right. I'm going to need you to press a button for me because, you know, I've, I've, I've changed my mind with this, and I hope hopefully you agree with me. Now, not only Dick Rollins will get the Dick of the Week, we're also going to put Vince McMahon in that category. So, Vinny McMahon, you certainly, sir, you're you're a fucking dick of this week. And Dick Rollins, obviously, for, for your dick pictures, you're a dick also. Boxman, please do you the honors. You dick! You, Thank you. dick! Thank oh, you. those guys are fucked! <laughs> you son of a bitch. I thought I'd add that one in for good measure. Okay, anyway... There you go. Well, let's 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 get back into Raw and get Raw over with, because uh, right. I think we've spent enough time on Raw. And the chat room is saying that uh, that clip was from '06 or '07. One of our guy, Kevin was there live and saw that. So. Oh shit. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's when that clip was from. I I what I don't know why I thought '04, but I don't know. I you know how my memory is. Small feet right. every day. Yeah, that's how it is. Uh, there you go. All right, so we're going. Let me get rid of some of this stuff so I don't lose everything here. Okay, we are back to. Are we going back to Raw? Yes, sir. <laughs> it's only been an hour and fifty minutes, and we're 
not even done with yeah, Raw. It's, it's, it's only been almost as much as, much as you know, Raw. I, I, honestly, did we get an hour and 15 minutes of wrestling on Raw? I don't know. I it's think like we've talked longer than we got wrestling on Raw. It's like, it's like we're reviewing Raw in real time. I mean, <laughs> you, re- you guys really are. It, um, I'm following Raw as we're speaking about it, and we're at an hour and 51 minutes on the oh, show. We're at... Uh... <laughs> Let's see. We, I've been recording for one forty-eight, so we're about one one forty in. Man, yeah. So, but hey, at least I'm recording. Yeah. Hopefully <laughs> we uh, we don't miss any more episodes. No, nah, I promise I'm recording. I promise never to do it again, and I won't. Don't worry. Calm down. There you go. It was only four or five episodes. Take it easy. Jesus Christ, man. That's 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 a lot, dude. That's like a fucking month and a half. No, not 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 out of you know n- n- you know the longer we go, it, it won't be so bad. Yeah. <laughs> so so I'll, I'll forgive you when we do this for like four years. Yeah. So and it won't I, oh, good. I I got something to look forward to now. Thanks, Shane. There you there you go. You're welcome. Great. Okay. Um. Let's see. Next part of Raw, since we're getting back to it. Triple H comes out to call out Sting for a confrontation. That's right. Triple H comes out to call out Sting for a face-to-face at a pay-per-view. Not a match. A confrontation. Yeah. Um, Dude, I, I love this, man. I give this a five-star, man. I loved it. A lot of people were criticizing this, saying, you know, this was corny. The guy didn't look like Sting and all this stuff, and it's just like, come on, man. You know, give, give me a break. It's just, I don't know, man. Anything to give us that's actually good, people still complain. And that's coming from me, a guy that that, that usually complains for three hours straight on Tuesday. Yeah. Um, which you can check out on THTPodcast.com, cheap plug. But, uh, yeah, stop complaining, man. This was good. I don't, I don't get you people. No, I love this. Well, I, I can tell you this. Since the podcast started, over the weeks, your optimism has been through the roof, roof which is very refreshing. Oh, good. Yeah, man, we greatly appreciate that. Good. Look how positive we are. But I also like burying people every now and again, too, so, you know. Yeah. You know what? Yeah, why not? And you know what? Th- this wasn't he, he, Sting. He was, he was a cool cat, but, you know, I don't mean to bury him, but... Uh, we're not yeah, knocking the guy, you know. You know we're not, I'm not knocking I, the guy. I, I don't mean to get the golden shovel out on the guy, but, you know, it's, it's nothing <laughs> against the guy. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm digging his fucking grave right behind the guy. Nothing against you, man. Why don't you go ahead and just lay down in this hole that I dug for you? There Triple you H. Go. Well, it, since we're on Triple H, I mean, we, we, we're we not trying to speed read through Raw. Can I, can I throw something out there real sure, quick? Sure, this is the ADD show. Sure. Um, I was I was listening to a uh, episode of MLW and um Corp Bauer who used to write for the WWE was mm-hmm. talking about Triple H being on the um being on the podcast with Austin and saying that he has he, he wasn't aware of CM Punk until CM Punk got called up to the main roster. Well Court Bauer said him Triple H, Shawn Michaels, Vince McMahon, mm. Kevin Dunn Court Bauer and one of the other writers were at Gorilla when CM Punk was having a tryout, and they just buried the dude. They just said he doesn't look like a wrestler. He looks like some punk scumbag drug addict and all this stuff. And who knows, Triple H might not have known who he was at the time, but he said the burial was so bad. He said he was he surprised that Punk ever got called back by WWE. I read that too. Yeah, I actually, I actually heard this. Um, yeah, I read yeah, it this, too. Yeah, this doesn't surprise me, man. I mean, you know, Shawn Michaels and and, and uh, Triple H apparently, uh, you know, according to uh, Court Bauer, um, and I, who else was on that podcast? I think it was uh, Seth Greenfield, or whatever his name is. The guy right, the Alex Greenfield. Alex Greenfield. There you go. Um, yeah, according to those guys. Shawn Michaels and, and Triple H is, is, is a bad deal together. They, they bring out the worst in each other. So it doesn't surprise me. Um, I'm sure he probably didn't know of the guy. Um, nowadays, he, I'm sure he's following the indies to, to kind of pick up the talent and, and, and scout talent and, you know, get get the best out of the indies and, and pretty much make money off of them. But back in the day, I, it, it doesn't surprise me that he wasn't following IWA Mid-South and watching CM Punk against Sabu and, you know, all this stuff. 
Oh, sure, sure. I agree completely. I don't think he, like, you know, I don't think he had a vendetta against CM Punk, who was, you know, in the grand scheme of things, wasn't really, like, anybody special. But, you know, there was, there was some passing things that have happened in the past that would make CM Punk feel like this dude had a vendetta on, uh, about him, you know? Yeah, definitely. And, uh, you know, I think Triple H was, you know, he was pretty much just, just sugarcoating everything as far as the whole CM Punk thing, saying that there's no beef. I mean, clearly there's, you know, there's some animosity going on backstage between the two guys. Um, I think that's, that's, that's you know, pretty, it, it's pretty safe to say that, that CM Punk was stating facts and he said that, uh, you know, Triple H, you know, he wanted Triple H to also get drug tested. What are you doing, Bill in the house over there? I'm not. Who, me? Yeah, so are you building a house over there? <laughs> you thought it was me. <laughs> He's digging a grave for somebody, man. There you go. He's got a yeah, shovel ready to bury. About to bury somebody. Nice. Yeah, but uh, what else? What else do we have on Raw? Let's get Raw over with so we can get into the news. Um, Cesaro and Tyson Kidd against the Usos. Yeah, they actually got the win. So uh, I'm happy for them, man. I think we're gonna get the match at uh, Fastlane. I'm guessing, and hopefully to get the title. Uh, you know. The Usos held it for almost a year, if not more. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's, we'll it's, it's time for a change. And honestly, I, I like I like them as a tag team. I know Mick Foley was putting them over. Um, I usually disagree with Mick Foley as much as I, I love him as a wrestler. Um, <laughs> his views on life, especially Christmas, it's kind of creepy to me. But uh, I agree with him when it came to Cesaro and Titan Kid. Good. Good. Good, yeah. Do you think Mick Foley is dressed as Santa right now as as, as we speak? Oh, I'm sure he has on something Christmassy. I would hate to see his uh his 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 electricity bill. Oh. Can you imagine just having like multiple Christmas trees just decorating your house and Christmas stuff all year long? Yeah, that wouldn't be too good. No, it wouldn't. Man, that's probably why he's doing all these uh, stand-up things. The stand-up gimmick. Stand-up gimmick, goddammit. He said he just missed the road. Man, he's got to pay the light bill, man. With Christmas trees. That's what it is, man. I think that's what it is. Absolutely. There you go. There you go. But, so uh, next go match, ahead, man. Uh... Hopefully it's the main event. Is it the main event? No. We still got uh, oh, one... No. Bitch! We still got three matches left. Um, oh my God! Come on, man. And Jesus. one announce, and and this is where we get the Rikishi announcement. Don't worry, dude. It's oh, not gonna go. This isn't gonna Jesus. go far. Uh, we've already talked about Rikishi. Right. Next match: Sin Cara versus Damian Mizdow. Uh, I mean, this is, yeah. <laughs> I don't really have much to say about this. Really? That's it. Yeah, I mean, I honestly, I don't really remember this. What happened? I don't, I don't recall anything from this match. Uh, there was a match, and um, somebody won, and somebody lost. Exactly. Well, I don't remember anything about this match. So. Okay. Well, Sin Cara won. That's why you don't remember anything. Sin Cara is on a winning streak. Sin Cara is on a winning streak. That's right. He why? Is... <laughs> why is he on a winning streak? It's Please just... explain. He beat, he beat Barrett. You know, as soon as he was crowned the IC champion, he I think he beat uh, Miz, and now he beat Miz Dow. So, yeah, I I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, man. I don't know what's you going on. Me. You got me. But maybe uh, Sin Carl will be the one to beat Rusev. Oh, there you go. There you go. That would that would make sense in WWE's universe. It would. There you go, man. They should have. You know what they should have done? They should have just had uh, Bo Dallas just you know had that streak go on, and and he beat Rusev, and then we can all believe. That fucking guy sucks, dude. Well, he's coming back with a beard. No, he has like a half Jack Sparrow, little half mustache, half beard goatee. I don't know what the fuck it is. Yeah, well, be excited for it, man, because you're gonna get you're gonna see a lot of it. Oh yeah, hold on, let me fake my excitement. Woo, woo, yay, woo. 
Speaking of Bodell, isn't isn't R Truth the one that ended his streak? Yes, he is. Yeah, because R Truth was ready for that major push to the top, you know. <laughs> yeah, man. fifty R-Truth. years old. R Truth, absolutely. R Truth. Most most uh, he's, he's gonna get the rumble next year. Hmm. <laughs> yep. So bad, Boxman. Please. Let's let's finish roll before okay. I stab myself to death. Um, actually, this wasn't a bad match. Uh, Dean Ambrose and Curtis Axel. I like how they're. I like the whole uh, Axel Mania thing that they got going. I think that's pretty funny. Yeah, it's um, not bad. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm glad that they you know they they ran with that. It was it was a good opportunity for for some uh, you know some comedic exposure. I can say go. that. Um, I don't know, man. It's funny. I like it. This was a good match, but it's it's kind of weird how Dean Ambrose just gradually stepped down the fucking roster, and he was pretty much main eventing, and now he's in a feud with Curtis Axel every week, I, I guess. Yeah, it is a little weird, but I don't know. Like I I I like this match. Um, Dean Ambrose ended up winning. He uh, he hit dirty deeds on Curtis Axel. You like that, didn't you? There you go, man. I there you go. And then, um, Bad News Barrett appears with a little thing for his new little Bad News Zone. And I'm going to tell you something. I don't like it already. I didn't see this, thankfully. Um, I, I saw the Twitter thing. <laughs> thankfully. I guess it's like a TMZ ripoff. It is, or like a, it, it, exactly what it is, and it's pretty stupid in my opinion, but I don't know. Maybe it's just me, and I was liking Barrett up till this, but. Yeah, that know. guy, <laughs> want to talk about injury prone. Yeah, no shit, man. No shit. So, anyway, yeah, Dean Ambrose, like I said, he won that match, and we now... Finally, Shaheen, go on to... Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the main event. The main event of the evening. Finally, thank you. You're welcome. Roman Reigns, Daniel Bryan versus Seth Rollins, Kane, Big Show, and J&J Security. You know what? Tell me. Then we'll both know. You know what, Boxman? What, We've Yeah, then we'll we'll both know. Um... (laughs) We brought up Triple H and Sting, and we didn't even talk about it. That sure was probably the best part of the night. We talked about all the shitty parts for two hours, all and right. the one part that was good about Raw we barely mentioned. We can go back to it. It's cool. Don't worry about it. Like 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 we ever stay in perfect harmony with the show. Don't worry about it. We'll go that back to true. it. We'll go back to it. Don't worry. Well, let's 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 go over the main event, and then we can briefly go over. Exactly. And then we'll segue into All something right. else. All right. So this this match was was fine. I mean, we basically saw it earlier that night. Um, yeah. Nothing special, man. But uh, I like how they're building up the match at at Fast Lane with with Brian and and Reigns. Unfortunately, I don't know, man. I have a, I have a gut feeling that we're probably not going to see Brian in the in the main event. Although that's the rumor is that they're going to have a three way dance, but. They did it last year. If they do it again, uh, maybe Vince isn't as out of touch as as we claim. But uh, never say never, man. I I just I don't know. There you go. Never if say Daniel never. If Daniel Bryan goes on to WrestleMania in a three way with these three with these two guys, Roman Reigns is pinning Daniel Bryan in the middle of the ring. <laughs> Good <laughs> that's point. That's how in touch they are. Good point. I think Honestly, you're right. That's- yeah, that's that's the only way I see them doing the doing the three way is if uh, Daniel Bryan is is, they, is eliminated. The yeah. yeah, which is I, not very smart because you know regardless if that's going to get booed also. Well, well, I don't know if I mean if if you see what happened after the main event, I mean there was a little tension. So Reigns as a heel. Might not be the worst thing in the world to go into WrestleMania with. We've been talking about it anyway. Yeah, and also it was surprising. Yeah, and also it was surprising that that Daniel Bryan was starting to get some booze. 
Yeah, that's that that that's a little confusing, but I'm not sure if they're booing Brian or again booing the situation he's put in. I don't know, man. It's hard to tell oh. nowadays with 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 the I don't know. Nowadays, God, I sound old when I say that. Hey, man, back in my time, it was easier to tell stuff. <laughs> old man i know i Listen, feel old they they were starving <laughs> for a guy like this in the early 90s man daniel bryan has found money is like finding money on the street man mm-hmm. it, it it makes no sense to me that they don't like this this guy could have came back and said brock lesnar is a paper champion he is carrying an interim title just like they do in the ufc if the champion gets hurt the other champion is called an interim champion. They could have they could spawn this in so many different ways, but uh, these people don't think, man. They got like um, two brain cells between the whole creative team, you know. And yeah, they got twenty six writers, at least. But you know, ultimately, like like Triple H pretty much said, he just blamed Vince for everything. So it all boils down to Vinnie McMahon. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Mm-hmm. But uh, he, I guess I guess that was. A... Go ahead, sorry, I'm go sorry. Ahead. I'm sorry. All right, please go ahead. Uh, he he thinks he can like he can just uh, uh, snap his fingers and the whole world is just going to follow his lead. You know, it's it's not 1984. You know. Yeah, well, that's that's that, that is what he fails to realize. I mean, back in the day when he did that, it was. It was easier when he did it with Hogan, and people were pretty much like sheep. You know, people didn't. You know, for, uh, we didn't have internet <laughs> pretty much. You know, right, and, uh, right. I mean, people. There was still a majority of people that still believed. Somewhat had like a look. Like I know there's something up here, but you know, I still love it. You know. Yeah. Yeah, I hear you, man. I hear you. But uh, that was that was the main event. Now, if we can go back to Triple H and Sting for a moment. Sure. Um, I did really enjoy that video package that they did for Sting. Mm-hmm. Um, the only problem that I had with it was that they could have at least showed Sting in the video package instead of just writing out, like, I accept the challenge. That was that was really corny. Um, but other than that, I really liked it. I mean, the fake Sting is fine, but, yeah, I, I liked it, man. I did, too. E- e- even if it was a fake Sting, how many people had to, like, stop and pause that and find the right spot? They showed the guy for, like, a half a second. Yeah. I mean, come on, people. Get a life. I mean, who cares if it was Sting or not? It was done well. It looked cool. That's all that matters to me. It's entertainment, people. Get real. Yeah, this, these are and the same when- people that, that, that paused the Nikki Bella, you know, nipple slip at and fucking zoomed in at hey, you know two hundred percent and, and hey, took snapshots and all hey, that shit. Hey, listen, some people don't need a life, and I I appreciate those people, but you know when when and when the when the sting crow gimmick was at its height, and how many fake stings did we see come from the rafters or come up from the ring and come yeah. out of the crowd and all that stuff? That that was like part of the part of the package, you know. People don't even know. People don't even you know. Yeah, guys, had that, a lot of these uh, guys are too young to remember that. Yeah, it had that. Uh, it had that 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 shitty company WCW feel to it. Yeah, and they're still bearing, you know, WCW fourteen years later, which is funny. WCW sucks. Hey, by the way, by our network where you can watch all of WCW <laughs> and yeah, ECW. We have, we have the best selling our best selling DVDs are WCW DVDs. By the way. Yeah, but uh, they suck. Ha ha. It's all all WCW's fault. I've been, yeah. I've been revisiting a lot. I've been revisiting a lot of that old WCW and Nitros and stuff like that on the network, man. I love it. I love it, man. Yeah, definitely, man. And uh, guys like Kevin Dunn, you know, once once guys like him leave, I'll be very happy because guys like this are, you know, supposedly. I mean, I'm not, you know, backstage. For all we know, it's all lies. But according to the dirt sheets, this guy is. You know, say in his head, w, I mean, uh, ECW died years ago, and there's no fucking nobody cares about ECW anymore, and there's there's not a demand for it, and and, and so forth. That's why there was only Bubba Ray Dudley in the EC, in the um, as far as ECW goes at the Royal Rumble because Kevin Dunn doesn't think there's a demand for it. So when guys like this leave, I'll be very happy because 
you know, you can tell Triple H. I don't know if you guys caught it. He kind of buried, uh, you know, he is, he is the burial machine. He kind of buried Kevin Dunn, which I got a kick out of it, when uh, he was trying yeah, to kind absolutely. of rush him off the, off the network. I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> Listen, Kevin Kevin Dunn, somebody who said, said ECW is dead and NXT isn't a viable option. He's saying all this stuff, but the television show that he produces doesn't even gain the ratings that ECW did on TNN. So, you know. He, he, right. You know. Yeah, shit, man. ECW was probably getting better ratings on, on, on WGTW Channel 48. Absolutely, I, I would, I would, uh, I would bet money on that. Exactly, but uh, yes, yeah, you know, for for guys like Kevin Dunn, you know, numbers speak for themselves. Look at the look at the numbers. I mean, these are facts. As far as you know, WWE releases, ECW sells, you know, outsells pretty much all their DVDs when they do the uh, ECW unreleased DVD gimmick. They they sell a shitload of those, man. So I don't I don't really see the point of saying there's no demand for it. When clearly it's a lie, um, but yeah, I, I don't know, man. Those guys are just lost in lost in the seventies and eighties, and still think that fucking you can just pretty much just tell the crowd what to like, and we're just gonna get hand fed and 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 believe in the bullshit. And I, I don't think it's gonna work. And <laughs> clearly, it's firing back right now as we speak with uh, Cena and Reigns. But uh, uh, you know. The one thing I'll say that, that that is positive with with the WWE right now is that Cena is kind of stepping down and and he's kind of like in the background now. Now we get Reigns and Daniel Bryan and guys like that. And you know, as far as Roman Reigns replacing Cena, I'm absolutely fine with that. I can tolerate it for a couple of years. So you know, and by then hopefully those those five guys from NXT come up and maybe one of those guys will take over. Sami Zayn, I have, I have high hopes for that guy. Right. The, the, the main thing is, like, Roman Reigns cannot be booked like John Cena. Roman Reigns needs to, needs to be booked like Roman Reigns. He needs to be booked like a killer. He needs to be booked like a monster if that's what you're going to go for. But, the, you know, they want to they wanna reinvent the wheel, and, you know, it can't be done. Right. And, and he, he can come off like a badass, like... That uh, that that tackle that he did, the spear that he did to Big Show a couple weeks ago, that was awesome. I mean, I you know I, you can't deny that. that that looked badass. That how it came off on television was badass. I liked it. Do more of that, and and I can get into the guy. But when you have him come out and talk about you know the magic beanstalk and all that stuff, then it's like eh, I, no, I'm not really into it. Right, like last week when uh, I guess it was the opening promo that everybody's going back and forth. And Seth and you know Rain says a couple words and Rollins walk by walks by him and he says if you get any closer to me I'm gonna knock your head off. That should be Roman Reigns, you know. That, that was awesome. All right. Absolutely. But I, I still don't think he's the guy. I think that spear was pretty badass, and the more they showed it, the better it looked. Yeah, dude, he got some air. He did, he, and and deal like Jordan in '95, man. He, he yeah. was he was up there. <laughs> yeah, he definitely got uh, he definitely got some air and some power on that one. Big Show felt that yeah. little bit. I like how he didn't even wrap his arms around Big Show's back. He just kind of just hit him instead of actually, you know, oh, spearing yeah. him and, and and taking him down. Yeah, he hit him pretty hard. It looked like. Yeah. Definitely. Well, I guess some... that was that was raw. That thank God was raw, ladies and gentlemen, jurors Jesus and Christ. Jerks. There we I, go. We we deserve we deserve a raise from, from zero dollars an hour to one dollar hour. Oh, I thought you were gonna say yeah, zero. Roman Reigns goes over on Joey Mercury for the win. You know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah why not? <laughs> <laughs> gotta, make, gotta make Roman look let's strong. Put a, let's, put a, let's, let's put a notch in my belt there. That gotta, really made me look strong. Going. Gotta make him look yeah, strong, he's, he's man. He's coming off strong. Jesus Definitely. Christ. Well, Boxman, why don't you go ahead and uh, hit, hit hit the dirt sheets for us, man. See if we got any any news going on in the, in the wrestling world. I can do that. Give me a second here. I, I got one quick thing. I was reading today 
And uh, looks like the guys at Glory, which is a kickboxing company, are trying to get Bill Goldberg to fight for him, and he's not saying no. He's telling him to get with his people. So we may see Goldberg doing some kickboxing. Well, you may see Goldberg get his ass kicked. I don't know. Thank have you, you. Have you. Have you seen him train kickboxing and stuff? No, but he's old. Yeah, but I've seen some of the videos, and kickboxing is a different sport. It takes one lucky kick to, or punch to kick a guy out. So, I don't know. I'd I'd be interested to see it. It would again. It would just like punk. It would sell tickets, man. Yeah, it would. Yeah, it I can't. Would. I can't deny that. I just I just don't think he's gonna get any any wins under his belt. No, but uh, it's there, and who knows, man. So, all right, I am Yeah, I'd, on... I'd be interested, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I would definitely... I would be interested. I, I, I'd, I'd, I'd watch that with... A, definitely watch that. Certainly. And, um... I know... I know, I know, I know Tommy wanted to... Jesus, I'm getting an echo. I don't have an echo. You don't have an echo? That's just me? Uh, yeah, I don't have an echo. I don't know. Anyway, I know Tommy on the on the Facebook asked us uh, if if we can give our opinion on what's going to happen with the NXT takeover uh, tomorrow night. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. To, so, uh, do you want to go over night, that yeah. now? Yeah. We can do that. No. Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, we're gonna have uh, Finn Finn Balor against um, Adrian Neville, I believe. Mm-hmm. And this is this is the match that that got them signed. This is the match that got both of them uh, contracts. So I'm very excited to see this, man. This is this is going to be awesome. I expect this to. Uh, I wouldn't say steal the show because I think Kevin Owens and, and Sami Zayn. I mean, I've seen those guys work, uh, you know, dozens of times. So I, I already have a high expectation of that. But uh, this is a solid card, man. I mean, you want to talk about some good wrestling? You're going to get it tomorrow night. Forget Raw. I I hope we can talk two hours about this show next week. I don't have a I don't have a problem you know reviewing this in real time because I know this is going to be worth it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm I'm definitely excited for this, man. Yeah, I've I've been looking forward to this for weeks, man. I, I think um, you know I, I would call that a co-main event, and I think I, I think that that's you know it's going to blow the roof. Yeah, I, yeah I'm, absolutely. I'm not, I, I I have a hard time getting into their weekly show, but um, these specials are always good. I always watch and I always enjoy them, so I'm definitely looking forward to watching it. I think it'll be a good show, like they always are, and um, I don't know. I'm hoping for the best. Honestly, I'm I'm going to go ahead and say this, man. I think this is going to be the best. Um, NXT takeover so far. I think this is going to be the one. You think? Absolutely. All right, man. Who's who's rolling a joint in the background there? Yeah, well, I don't know, man. Did either, did either of you guys um, sign up for uh, New Japan World? No, I. Still I have haven't. not. Have you? I I haven't, but I. I heard they got like a really big show tomorrow. Um, I think AJ's going against. Uh, I'm gonna try and find it right now. Boxman, are you, are you getting a lot of uh, echo on your end also? I'm not getting echo, but it's like someone's doing something in the microphone. That's what I'm getting. I'm on the phone too. So. Is is it on uh do you have it on speaker? No. Yeah. Well now now it's not doing it anymore. No, it's good. Anyway. Right. Yeah, fine. I'm definitely excited for NXT man. Yeah, yeah, I told I like Okay, I said, so t- No go ahead. <clears throat> Sorry, tomorrow on um on the New Japan show, it's AJ AJ Styles versus Tanahashi, Abushi versus Samoa, uh, I don't know, butchered this dude's name, but um, the Young Bucks, Red Dragon, and the Time Splitter. Nice. Now hold on, hold on one second, Steve. Do you have uh, do you have the show playing in the background? 
No. No? Mm -mm. I don't know why we're getting so much echo. Let me try and call right back. I hear something pulling up right now. Some All right. music. Oh, you know what? This it might be. I'm social media. Hold on. <clears throat> I'm loading a few any pages, so that could be it. Ring. Naked pictures of WWE wrestler Seth Rollins. Yeah, there's something pulling up here. Let well, let's, let's, let's take a, let's take a quick break. Alright, take a quick break and we will be Monday. right back, In folks. Hold on one an second. Or a hack, I am by a revenge post from Rollins scorned lover. ready to go First, right now. Selfie of Zara we'll be right back, people. Model in you know they do have an inside track, but uh, whatever. I'm not even going to go any further than that. Yeah, well, most, most of them are full of crap, so uh, it is what it is, man. They can say whatever they want. Right. But uh, it's, it's fun. I even I even emailed him and I I, I kind of went at him and uh, he never responded. So, you know, if if he wanted to say something, you know, he clearly I had a had a way to contact me. But uh, you know, it, it is what it is. Dirt yeah, sheets they 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 want their hits. You know, that's that's how they get paid. I understand how it works. That's fine. But uh, enjoy those cold hot dogs at uh, House of Hardcore. Yeah, because the, the hot tag podcast doesn't serve cold hot dogs. That's right. You know there you go, man. Up. We got microwaves. We got the condiments. We got tables. We do this stuff for real. Yeah. There you go, man. We, we had a, we had a main party we going got on. Gucci Mane in the trunk. Yeah, man. I'm going to fuck Gucci Mane, man, at the hot tag podcast, man. We're going to be at the goddamn CCW. Combat zone, motherfucker, rap, man. Gucci Mane, I'm a southern boy, but I ain't never been down Philly, man. I'm going to be down Philly. I'm going to be chilling, dressed, some bear and shit. You know what I mean? I got my gold teeth. I don't know if I should be wearing my gold teeth down in the two on five though, man. You heard me? I don't. I don't think they're gonna be appreciating that shit, man. Oh, good. I don't know how he gets out of jail to do these to just knock Shaheen right off the phone. Know, man. I don't. This get guy it. taps into my phone and takes over, man. I don't know what's going on with this guy. He, he, he's a he's a fucking hacker, obviously. Jesus Christ. Clearly, man. Clearly. Jesus Christ. But uh, Fox man. Yo, got about half hour left. Uh, news. What, what we got going on? Um, if I'm not mistaken, uh, you guys said you were going to the House of Hardcore show March seventh, correct? Yes, sir. Three way dance added to that. Matt Hardy versus Carlito versus Lance Hoyt. Man, eh, it's all right, I guess. I like Lance Hoyt, honestly, and I like Carlito. Matt Hardy, I like. So it should be a good match. Um. I just thought you'd want to know that since you're going to the goddamn show. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, man. They've, they've done a lot of uh, three ways with uh, Carly and Matt Harding, House of Hardcore. They kind of just pretty much switch around the, the third participant in that match. Yeah, really? Okay. Well, that's what they're doing. Uh, what else? Aries, Bob, Aries and Bobby Roode versus the Young Bucks. Yeah, that's going to be awesome. Yeah. That's going to be a badass match right there. Eric Young versus Yeah, that's Tony the one Jr. I'm looking most forward to. Cool. Yeah, definitely. definitely. Young Bucks you got it. and Aries and Rude versus that's that's a that's a good match, dude. Just the just just looking at it, that's that's a that's an exciting match. Uh got a South yeah. Philly uh, Yeah. Yep. You got a South Philly street fight with Eric Young versus Tommy Dreamer. That could be good. Yeah, Tommy Dreamer always, always tends to rely on a South Philly street fight with him against somebody else. I mean, it kind of gets repetitive, but, you know, hopefully they'll have a good match. It was, it was an all right match with uh, Bobby Roode at, at the last one. Yeah. Now, now, what do you think of Eric Young? I, like I don't Eric. I'm not a big fan. I'm not a big fan See, of the guy. I like him, and I'll tell you what. I don't... This heel run Good. he's having right now, sorry about that. This heel run he's having right now is awesome. The guy cut his hair, trimmed his beard, all just for a different character. I don't know. I love the guy. I think he's way better as a heel, and I like what he's doing right now more than his little baby face stuff. So that's just me. I love it right now. I'll, I'll have to agree with you, Box, man. But he, even even before, like when he was doing the, um, when he was doing the gimmick with... Uh, uh, Orlando Jordan or whatever like that. They mm -hmm. they used to give this dude the worst crap that I ever seen, and he would he would do his very best, man. I, I I've always like I've always enjoyed watching him working in the ring. Whether he's like world champion material, that's very debatable. But I've always I've always enjoyed watching Eric Young wrestle. Oh yeah, <clears throat> guy can make 
I can make chicken salad out of chicken shit. Oh, you damn right. God damn it. Son of a bitch. So yeah, he's he's uh, he, he can definitely do that. I don't know, and truthfully, I I did. I mean, I loved his stuff with ODB. That was funny as shit when he used to come down to the ring and lock up with the crowd. Funny as hell. I don't know. He he seems like a really good guy, but this heel stuff is really good right now. So I don't know. I'm uh I'm I'm a bit I'm a, I'm an Eric Young fan. I'm I love me some Showtime Eric Young. So yeah, I'm I'm pretty high on the guy. Just just. You know, just from you know, he he's always been he's always had a job. I, I'm I'm like I'm big on the guys that have been like with a company for real long as long as their work stands up. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean the dude the dude can still can still go. It's not like he's he's a, he's around for nostalgia's sake. He's gonna have a few good matches, oh, yeah. several good matches. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah, doing the guy, good. The guy definitely, his, you know, his 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 in ring ability at least definitely stands the test of time. I just I don't know I never really got into him but I definitely like him as a heel, way way more than I did as a as a face. Yeah, I mean he's really funny as a baby face. He does some good stuff, you know. Like I said, locking up with the audience that shit's funny as hell, and it's good comedy, and it's 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 good. But I mean, it's like like when he was with Team uh, you know Team Can- or uh, what was it Team Elite for a while, that, that was awesome stuff, man. I don't know, I loved it. I, I like it. I like it. Always yeah. did. So, I don't know. He 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 he's he's he kind of reminds me of a, a Damian Sandow. Can take any crap they give him, turn it into gold. You took the words right out of my mouth, man. I, uh, I was, you know, that that's the first thing that was going through my mind, man. Yeah. He, he can take the worst gimmick. I mean, they put him with Orlando Jordan for God's sake. <laughs> the dude was like grinding up on people in the corner, and the dude uh, Eric Young pretended like he was the referee. And that that was awesome. That was yeah. just I remember at Bound for Glory. Uh we ain't gotta we don't have to get all into that. Sorry. Eh, no big deal, man. We can get into whatever. Mm. Yeah, we have we have no formula to this show, man. We just we just go. <laughs> we just we just talk and end. That's about it. We start, we talk, we end. <laughs> there you go. Surprisingly, I don't think there is any podcast out there that goes for a. Uh, not surprisingly, because it, it doesn't really surprise me, actually. That goes for almost three, three and a half hours long without a break. Uh, we usually don't take a break. That's, like, it's kind of reckless. Yeah, we just took it to get rid of the noise. So it's all good, man. No big deal. We took a little break. We yeah, we can do that. But, yeah, we uh, we, we do talk do a little long. <laughs> we, we, we're a little long-winded, but who cares? There you go, man. Who but, uh, what else we got on the radio? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Raw took a big drop in viewers last night. 15% drop from last week. That's man. Actually, that's a pretty big one. Um, and I got to tell you, well, man. You, you know who they're going to blame it on? Oh, Daniel the Bryan. This is Brian. No, Still this is going to be. You. No, they're going to blame this on Daniel Bryan. I'm telling you right now. No, man. They're going to blame it on Seth Rollins' dick. Oh, uh, everybody was on Twitter. Oh. They couldn't watch Raw. That's right. Dick Rollins. Dick Rollins screwed it up. You, you know what? You would have figured that would have got people watching Raw, but no. No, 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 no. See, see, see. No, no, no. Stephanie McMahon said 30% of the, the, the Raw viewers are, are soccer moms. So the soccer moms stopped watching it once they found out that, that Seth Rollins was cheating on his girl. That's what it is. There you is. go. We're spitting facts. There you go. Breaking news. Take that, there sheets, and run with it. There you go. That's what happened. <laughs> Meanwhile, a lot, a lot, what they're gonna blame it on is the number one cable show last night was the premiere of uh, Better Call Saul. I don't even know what that is. It's a it's a it's a television show. Well, that's yeah. Well, that that's as much as I know. So that's about all you're getting. Uh. <laughs> that's exactly. as much as I'd like to know. It's a spin-off of Breaking Bad. Oh, there you go. Oh yeah, it's a rip-off. Yeah, rip-off, hmm. spin-off, whatever you call it. I missed it. I passed on it. But uh, yeah, I don't even think Stephanie McMahon won't even say Better Call Saul and Mother and Roll are the same demographic because I don't think soccer moms are watching a TV show about crooked lawyers. Who knows? Yeah. Who knows what it's, those... It's lies, anyway. 
Yeah, who knows what those crazy those crazy soccer moms are watching? Those wild they're watching uh, Housewives of Atlanta, man. That's her loving yeah. hip hop Atlanta. That's why they were gonna have that Nene girl on Monday Night Raw, right? Oh God, damn! Um, it's a train wreck. That was horrible. Bad times, bad times, bad times. There you go. Hey, by the way, are you guys looking for a job? If you are, WWE is hiring a vice president of operations to work out of Stanford. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. It's a hot tech podcast. There you let's, go. Let's, let's go to work for the WWE. That's right. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to uh, work in WWE. Let's see here. Vice president of operations will be based in Stanford, Connecticut. will report to the EVP. Who's that? EVP, Talent Creative Writing and Live Events. This right-hand role is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for an executive who is looking for a role that offers immediate engagement and impact. Why would they use the word impact on a job? On the performance of Critical Asset. Damn. I'm not going to go through the rest. I think, but, uh, yeah. I think uh, Kevin Dunn just got fired. <laughs> <laughs> You used impact. I can't believe you used that word. You're fired. <laughs> there you go. Um, yeah. So if you're if if you're looking for a job, WWE is the place for you, people. Yeah. Indeed. There you go. Let's see here. Yeah, WWE, and that that. Unless you guys got anything else. Sheen, I know you ain't got shit because you ain't got internet. Yeah, my internet. Well, I, 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 got, I got one topic real quick. Darren Young was um, Darren Young was tweeting. Uh, hold on. I just had it pulled up here somewhere. Oh, man. Please well, don't he, tell me he was tweeting dick pictures. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, 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 no. He was he much more crying. diplomatic. Oh, man. He, Please, um, let's, let's not make a trend out of this. WWE people, don't make a trend out of sending uh, dick pictures, please. It, um, the, the story reads that um, Darren Young spoke out against the tour in Abu Dhabi, saying, um, why do we bring the best entertainment into a country like Abu Dhabi and they look down upon women and gays? I get it, millions of dollars. Well, that uh, that tweet was quickly removed from his um, Twitter page, and then he said, "My freedom of speech is gone, gone but not forgotten." So I, I have a feeling Darren Young's going to be gone and forgotten. But uh, yeah, the Be a Star campaign well, is really um, yeah. working out good. You know, the only thing he's probably oh, yeah. got behind him is the fact that if they do get rid of him, it's going to be, oh, Glad is going to kill him. Oh, it was because he yeah. was gay. So he may have that on his side. Right. He may. Well, the dude I, hasn't, I, hasn't I, been on TV in 10 weeks. Oh, at least. Or is that what the and, uh, He's been at Pat Patterson's house, man. Oh. Uh, uh, it's banana. There you go, man. <laughs> he, he, likes, he likes to play with the meat. Oh. Uh, oh my God. Pat Patterson's that was right on house. He is, he is a... He isn't. He is a moron for saying that, though. I mean, come on, dude. You work for a fucking, you know, this company. I mean, if you work for this company, dude, you can't say anything. Pretty much just retweet what WWE posts, and that's what you can do. Yeah. And, uh, in, yeah. In he's, reality, he's pretty much a moron for saying that. In reality, if they go to some of these cities in the South or in Alabama, he can say. Why would they bring us to Alabama where they don't like women and gays too? So why, you know what I mean? Like it's 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 not segregated to these foreign countries, man. That you know, whatever. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they're, they're, I don't. Know. It, he's an idiot. He's probably just yeah. He's probably just mad because I don't know. I'm probably probably shouldn't say that. <laughs> I'll try to censor myself. There nah, it's go. not gonna work. Anyway, it's not gonna work. Yeah, he's, he's probably just mad that, you know, he's overseas and there's not that many uh, people looking for Dong out there. So, probably just mad at that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, he's traveling with Pat Patterson, so he should be all right. Yeah, he's, he's got a backup plan. Um, but, uh, real, real quick, speaking of Pat Patterson, you remember R Rene Dupree? Mm-hmm. Yep. 
What was his tag team partner's name? Sylvain 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 Grenier. Yeah, that was it. You had it. Well, supposedly Sylvain got his job because he was like under the wing of Pat Patterson. The wing. Man, what did I say last week, man? I told you, man. Pat Patterson. He got rats, dude. I told you he's getting side dick, man. <laughs> he's getting he's getting the side dick, bro. Oh man. Wow. Anyway, um Jesus Christ, I wonder if you walk into Pat Patterson's house and you hear Hello, ladies. <laughs> oh man. Except man. it's Hello guys. <laughs> How uncomfortable would you be if if you were Val Venus backstage coming out with that towel around oh, Pat Jesus. Patterson and having him book your finish? Oh God! Oh, God, we have the chat room singing Johnny Lee songs now, looking for <laughs> dong in all the wrong places. <laughs> there you go, man. Well, apparently he was looking in the right places because you know he's got a lot of uh, he's got a lot of dong through the WWE system. Wow, I just I just dated myself even knowing who sang that song. But anyway. Um, yeah, I have no idea who that is. Uh, did you ever see the movie Urban Cowboy? Nope. Oh, shot to my heart. Oh. Is it, is it, is it a recommendation? Is it worthy? It was a John Travolta movie. Yeah. I like it. Actually, I know, I know what movie you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. It started the whole country, yeah, the whole country phase of the 80s. Yeah, I, I know exactly what you're talking about. Mechanical I've, bowls yeah. and all that stuff. There you go. Yeah, Mechanical I know. bowls. Yeah, I know what you're yeah. talking about. That's a great movie. Not for me, bro. All right, whatever, man. Meanwhile, oh. I, I know what you're going <laughs> to like. We're, we're, well, you got you got to understand from a different generation, man. I can't, I can't relate to that. I know. I know. I know. Here's something you can relate you know? to, Shaheen. Here's something you'll relate to. The ghost of Macho Man Randy Savage is allegedly <laughs> haunting. <laughs> you gotta let me finish Ooh, the title. Oh yeah. He's, Stop. He's, Stop that shit, man. Who is coming up with this? Oh shit? yeah. He's Stop allegedly it. haunting a they floor. They gave the wrong guy Photoshop, man. Stop this stuff, man. It, Dude, he's right there. If anything, Macho Man is going to be haunting Stephanie, man. He's not going to be haunting some oh, indie promotion and fucking stuff. <laughs> not happening, bro. <laughs> oh, my not God. Happening. Uh, he's going to be haunting oh, yeah. the people that he made those YouTube videos about, Hulk Hogan and Triple H. <laughs> there you go, man. Yeah. Okay. Hey, he's going to be haunting is... those people, not some indie. Why, what would he gain out of haunting your indie promotion? I don't know, but like, this what? is... Yeah, this how would is... you benefit from it? That is the most boring thing to do as a, you know, legitimate star in wrestling, afterlife. If I, if, if there is such thing as afterlife, I would not want to just hang out in an indie promotion if I was, like, a fucking huge wrestler. Probably just go to Hollywood or something, you know? I know. Well... We're on a strip club. I posted this there story. You go. If you want to see it, go to our Facebook page. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's on, it's on our Facebook, man. Facebook.com slash group slash PhD podcast. Check it out. Thank you, Shane. I thought I would mention that. I, I didn't know I was going to get that kind of laugh out of you guys. Man, you, you know who else? Uh, you, now, this wouldn't surprise me if, like, if like Ghostface Killer or Method Man or, or one of those guys from the Wu-Tang, if, if they posted a picture of, of Macho Man haunting them, I believe that because he actually had some kind of connection with them, and that's probably a better time than hanging out at an indie promotion. I'd I'd probably hang out with Raekwon and, and, and Ghostface all day and just play the fly on the wall. Oh. Yeah, I'd be cool with that. Protect your neck and all that. <clears throat> oh. At least that's entertaining. Well, speak, speaking of rappers, I hear I hear um the rapper Wale is looking to start a um. I don't know if he's looking to start a promotion or if he's looking to just promote shows. Yeah, I heard this. He's, uh, he's just going to be running shows. It's not going to be like an actual promotion, but he's, he's looking to do one or two a sh- uh, show a year, which I'm I'm all for it, man. You know, more yeah, I like for it. Why not? Why not? But that, that guy, is, like, he's, 
You know what, Boxman? This is I'm going to have. Speaking of rappers, because this this pissed me off. I'm going to have to do this one more time. Boxman, hit that button ready for me, please, because we're going to have a third nominee for this week's Dick of the Week. Uh, finger on the button, my friend. I greatly appreciate that because my friend Kanye it. West, you certainly are a fucking dick. Boxman, please do the honors for this dickhead. You dick. You're a dick, man. Second year that you've pretty much had a fucking emotional outbreak at at the at the Grammys, and it's not even your, over your own music; it's over Beyonce. <laughs> it's over Beyonce, man. What is going on in this world? Why is he on Beyonce's dick? I don't understand this. You're not married to her, okay? You don't see he's, he's a groupie, you're idiot. Doing yeah, he's a groupie for Kanye. For a beyond, you, you only see Kanye doing shit like this. You know, this guy, he, he goes out there and says that uh, Beck, which I'm, I can't say I'm a fan of the guy, but, you know, whatever, man. He, he's saying, but the guy is at least a, a real musician. You know, I'm not saying Kanye's not a musician, but Beck, he actually plays instruments and shit. Like, there's a meme mm-hmm. out there that, that's, that's making fun of this. That's, that's where I'm getting this whole idea from. Where, like, you know, the guy actually plays instruments. So how are you going to tell this guy that, you know, he should he should respect music when your argument is fucking Beyonce, a woman that only sings. There's there's she doesn't play any instruments, nothing. So, what's more musically re- I shouldn't say relevant, but what's who's who's more musically talented? A guy that 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 sings his vocals and also plays fucking twenty instruments, or just a girl that goes in a studio and can sing? And they auto tune the shit out of it or put whatever effects they want on it, and she gets Grammy nominated. Now, this guy, man, he needs to chill the fuck out. I wish we had that button because I pressed it 15 times for this guy. He needs to chill the fuck out, man. He thinks he's, he, he's out beat the Beatles, which I'm not even a big fan of the Beatles. But I'm just putting out names out there. This guy thinks he's like the next, you know, Michael Jackson. Like, he thinks he is really out there. And. Don't get me wrong. He is a, he is a musical genius. I'm not going to take that away from him. I just think he acts like a girl, and I just really would appreciate it if he just chill the fuck out. If so, yo, if, if, if you actually wait. if you actually heard the comment that he made, did you hear what he had to say? Actually, hear it with your ears? Oh yeah, oh yeah. He that's, sounded that's, like that's a woman. Got... He sounded like a woman. Yeah, that's exactly that's what got him uh, dick of the week. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, I'm, I'm in all kind of music. I like, um, I like, uh, you know, hip hop, alternative, whatever it is. But I, I think you know, if, if it's the the music industry insiders that are that are uh, that are voting on these awards, that they're going to vote for somebody who writes their own music and makes their own music rather than somebody who goes into a studio and, like you said, just sings what's on the paper. Exactly. She does. She that, that's another thing. She needs like eighteen writers to write one song. So, I mean, yeah, that's how they look at it. They they don't just look at it as like, oh, this sold more than this, or this is more, you know, appealing to 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 the you know pop culture or the masses. It's like, all right, no, this guy actually plays his instruments. He writes his own music. He sings. He probably produced everything. He uh, for all I know, maybe he maybe he even designed the fucking CD cover. I don't know. I never heard of CD. I'm not a fan of the guy. I'm just saying. But that that makes sense to me than than somebody that just sings. But I, you know, Have I don't know, man. There, sir. I just I don't I don't understand like the fascination with like Rihanna and Beyonce and Kanye West. Like those three are just they should he's, be all. He's gonna he's movies. gonna be the next Bruce Jenner. Mark my words. In five years, he's gonna be in sex change. <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't it wouldn't surprise me. That guy, yeah, he's a, he's another one, man. Jesus Christ. Uh, How are you yo, 55 yeah. and you're just debating a sex change? He he might be going to prison. Yeah, yeah. Boxman, did you hear about this? I heard about the car accident he was in. Yeah, somebody yeah, died. Uh, that I know, yeah, yeah I heard. Died. I did hear about that. Yeah, he may be, but um, you know what? Speaking of rappers, let me stay on rappers for a second. Did you guys see the picture of Riff Raff all bulked up? Yeah, he's been uh, he's been snacking on uh, steroid bars. 
That dude. Oh, he's been hanging out with um, Brian Cage. Well, yeah, yep. right. <laughs> Steroids <laughs> for breakfast. But um, we are. Um, I don't know, man. Riff Raff's actually looking kind of. He's he's looking big, but he's just. It looks so weird on him. But I don't know. Hulk, Hulk, yeah. Hulk Hogan supposedly is jumping on the train and helping this guy train. That guy, that guy is taking the word gimmick to a whole other level, man. That guy's life is a gimmick. Yeah, he's he's definitely bigger. Oh, Actually, like, I posted it on the Facebook. Literally, he day. has he has BT and MTV tattoos on him. Hmm. That's a gimmick. He's, he's trying to get laughter. He's trying to get attention. Yeah. Yeah. And that guy, he actually used to be on a reality show called, uh, I think it was on VH1 or MTV. It was called like a G's, G's to Gents. Huh? You know what I'm talking about? No. Yeah, he, he made an ass out of himself on there. and Yeah. Pretty yeah, I heard, of, I heard of that show. I, I've i heard some of his music, too, and he's an idiot. That dude's an idiot. <laughs> well, that's that's the thing. He's trying to be an idiot. You know, his his whole gimmick is he's not he's not trying. He's he's pretty much making fun of like like rappers. At the same time, he's making money off of it. Like what? But like, what I want to know is how does a guy like that get publicity? How does a guy like that end up being on the MTV Music Awards? Really? Like because he has shark teeth? Because he got his he's mutilating his mouth? Like you? I don't get it, man. I really don't get it. The dude is a talentless moron. It's, it's, it's very simple, man. We live in a, in a pussified society and in a very trendy society. So anything that's trending, they'll follow it. And most of his fans are probably 14-year-olds that, you know, can't relate to him at all, but they just follow it anyway. Same thing with, uh, like, Chief Keith. You know who Chief Keith is? Yeah. That that guy, box fan, do you know who Chief Keith is? No, I don't. I'm sorry. You're you're better off if, not knowing. It, no, no, <laughs> Thank please you. do because it's it's, it's going to change your life. It's, it's it's the best entertainment I've ever seen in my life. Uh, Boxman, while 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 I talk about this for a second, just Google Chief Keef and at least at least look at the guy for a second. Chief what? This fucking guy. What's that? Chief what? Chief Chief. He's what? No, he's Chief Keef. Yes, yeah. I got it. I got it. K i e f. I got it. K double E F. There you I go. Mean, I mean, I like this Keith. guy. He's 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 from Chicago, right? He's 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 from the murder capital, um, and his biggest fan base is is usually like white kids from the suburbs that are like twelve years old that that would typically probably not be able to relate to guy the guy's music, but his fan base is is completely different than what he is. It's, they they don't like today's society. They just follow anything, you know, and that guy, man, it's it's there's a uh, there's a YouTube channel. It's called um, the War in Chirac. There you go. If anybody has time, if you, if you go ahead, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm I'm just looking at his picture. I can't tell if it's him or Whoopi Goldberg, but <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I think we lost Shaheen. Did we lose Shaheen again? He was laughing. Hold on, let me see. Up, oh, yep, I did. Right. And we're back live right now. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I lost Shaheen for a second. Yes, sir, I am back. But, uh, yeah, man. Is there anything else you want to talk about? I know I was briefly talking about that uh, Warren Chirac. I'm not really going to talk too much about it. You guys can check it out if you want some mindless entertainment. Yeah, there about, you go. Uh, That's right where you the were. Game um, in Chicago. <laughs> The only thing I've got is with Raw getting bad, um, not so good uh, ratings. TNA actually another well, they went up again. Um, average five hundred twenty-five thousand viewers, twenty twenty-two percent increase from the week before. Nice, so, not bad. No total, including the um, including the replay, six hundred ninety-one thousand. So I mean they're not right. getting, they're they're not getting the million, but every week they go up a little more and a little more. So yeah, it's not bad at all, man. Not no. bad at all. No, good for them. I hope they keep doing it though. But um, yeah, I'm 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 glad they're doing it, and uh, I hope they keep it up. So 
I don't know. Definitely. Well, uh, yeah, I guess it's time to get up on out of here, but we'll be back next Tuesday, 8.05 p.m. Eastern, same channel that you're streaming live right now. You can check us out on iTunes, Stitcher, YouTube, THT Wrestling Podcast. Just search that up, and you should get some uh, some nice results. And uh, we certainly want to thank everybody that's been listening, all the downloads. I mean, our downloads for last week was, was phenomenal. We certainly surpassed our, our expectations, and we're definitely thankful for it. So check out THTPodcast.com, Facebook.com, slash groups, slash THT Podcast. And uh, we certainly appreciate it, man. Anything else you want to talk about, Boxman, before we get out? No, no. You're one of, uh, we just, like you said, we appreciate everybody uh, downloading the show. Well, like you said, our downloads went <laughs> kind of skyrocketed last week, and we, we definitely appreciate it. Um, thanks, guys. Thanks, chat room. Appreciate you guys. You guys have been, uh, most of you guys in here have been listening since the first day and been through a lot of shit, so... We appreciate it, and um, I guess that's it, man. We can go ahead and uh, we can get this thing done. What do you say? Absolutely. We'll be back next Tuesday, and until then, take it easy and watch some wrestling, you know? Uh, See yeah. ya. See ya. Packer, I smell good, man. Time to kick back, take some beers, and smoke some weed.